Hey, yo, Charlemagne, we live? Guess not. Niggas. Hello, 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 hello. hello. Yo. Bro, my family up front celebrating Christmas. I'm doing this. What the fuck is going on? <laughs> Why are you lying? Bro, I mean, everybody's being festive, bro. I'm sitting up here like talking about bullshit like i don't know uh, we don't believe you facts i definitely don't believe you yo you, yo yo i think you having a good old private time with shantae right now hey man it would be very lovely this time of evening but you know testing bitches touch it testing yeah. hey hard did you see me doing better than bg today bro stop i definitely <laughs> seen that definitely. facts yo facts. i knew y'all was gonna reach facts definitely sad. hey don't be hating on me sad. hey he quit after a week so it's sad i quit after a week that's so sad. so by default i'm better than you bro. oh what was your score what was your score hey, I, went po- score? hey I went positive a couple of times you went positive okay what does yeah, that mean yeah what you do uh put your, put two, your, hey, put your stats up 2.5k <laughs> no, 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 no. put your stats up where your stats at <laughs> You went positive. I never went negative. Uh huh. Hey, we ain't got no that's proof for that. I, hey, we ain't got no proof for that. You, said, you, you said you went positive. Like that's hard. Like going five hundred, a little bit five hundred, don't mean nothing. Uh huh. Somebody, somebody said BG making niggas make YouTube money for him on the holidays. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> we BG reindeer right now, bro. Y'all notice that I'm the bar for uh, you know gaming quality and gaming skill. Y'all always compare Fuck everybody. Here. So I understand. Need you to cut it out, sir. I'm the bar. I, it's, I it's, the too, bar. it's too early to be lying, bro. I'm the one everybody always being compared to, so I understand. <clears throat> Most <laughs> God. This nigga crazy. Oh, man. Uh, y'all seen y'all seen Hard Eight front and mad hard like he wasn't enjoying Sean Tato? Yeah, bro. <laughs> Yo, that man was putting up the hardest front, dog. That's you did look like you was enjoying it, bro. That's why that shit got deleted the minute I finished the live. Oh, no. oh wait Damn. a minute. You gonna go back to it, bro? <laughs> I honestly feel like you was enjoying it. You, you look, look like you was having trash. fun, bro. That shit's garbage. I think your pride wouldn't let you admit how much fun you was having. Yo. Facts. <laughs> Man, I play Lego games. Why the fuck I would have a, ch- a hard time admitting that? You ain't like trash. You was having fun, bro. I don't see how Jack can sit around and play that shit. That's why nobody don't watch him when he live streaming. Hey man, people's loving the Shante live. I had that thing lit today though. Y'all, y'all can thank me for Jack move live stream today too. I did that. I put that together. <laughs> Even when I ain't trying to entertain, I'm entertaining. God damn it, this oozes out of my pores. It's crazy. <laughs> oh man, it's crazy. BG, wish you can entertain like that. I really don't. I'm nobody's damn. monkey. Niggas go to your live stream when they trying to sleep at night. Man. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> I, listen, I really, I'm having a time. I really can't sleep. And job is, is BG live streaming? I can't sleep tonight. <laughs> oh shit! Yeah. Maybe going to hard day. Like I want to see. I want to see a monkey dance. I want to see him shucking job for me real quick. Never. Oh, never. wait a minute. Oh, never. <laughs> I thought you were talking about the monkey and Shante. Goddamn. No. Never. <laughs> never. I want to see somebody dance? I ain't dancing for nobody, so they can laugh. I ain't. Damn. All right, as long as you ain't twerking. I ain't at y'all service like that. <laughs> care about y'all laughter. Y'all don't make me laugh. Y'all don't make me happy. Yo, you're supposed to be the entertainer. You the one with the YouTube channel. All right. That is Yo, where the fuck is Bon at? He got a Christmas party in the attic? Like, what? Oh, yeah, he, he with the family. Yo, this nigga, yo, Bon be up front sometimes. I can't stand this nigga Bon, bro. <laughs> I swear to God, I can't stand this nigga. Yo, Either it was either when it was live. Did we not have the discussion to say like, listen, or is everybody cool with having a having the podcast uh, the sad the next two Saturdays? Right. We had that conversation, and then when I put up the live stream, the the podcast, Bob want to act all shocked. You're having a a podcast on New Year's Eve, on Christmas Eve. Like Bond, you were in the room when we spoke about this. Why are you at the surprise? Yo, Bond is so fucking extra, dog. I didn't. Is Christmas Eve a holiday? I'm not. I'm no, sure. That's, that's the other thing. No. Christmas Eve is not a holiday, bro. I'm just. I'm. I'm mistaken or something, bro. People. Like, plus, we fucking like. Listen, listen. We we grown ass men, dog. Like we do. We really care about Christmas, anybody? No, nah, really. you got kids. As far man. as like, I mean, if you got kids, then yeah, that's different. But you know what I'm saying? Like, not enough to 
to stop my regular, uh, you know, programming of what I usually do during the day. I'm not going to change it because of Christmas. I haven't cared about Christmas since like fucking 90. <laughs> Like, yo, it's Christmas Eve is not even a holiday. People work on Christmas Eve. Why? Why is Bond acting like this? I'm like, yo, you need to stop. Keep trying to keep up this image, dog. Cut it out. <laughs> yo, I already told you. Nobody <laughs> in the comments right now. Nobody follows the book of Bond, man. He said, y'all are really yo, crying right now. Yo, yo, nobody. Yo, why are you in the comments? Shouldn't you be at your Christmas party? Fuck is you doing in the comments? Yo, that's how he, he always be fronting and shit. Oh, you making videos at three in the morning? He in the comments at three in the morning. You playing video games? <laughs> <laughs> you playing video games now? Fuck <laughs> 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 is you yeah, going in the chat? Mad, you supposed to be with your? You supposed to be fake <laughs> celebrating right now? Oh, <laughs> you going in the chat? I'm waiting for the video to go up. You know he go. He, he got to upload a video. I'm ready to dislike him that. drinking eggnog and shit. <laughs> him drinking some, him spiking the eggnog and shit. Yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> Brian, what you doing blocking people in the comments? Shouldn't you be busy? What's <laughs> going on? <laughs> I just got time to block you. Nah, you can't you can't be out the podcast and blocking people. <laughs> <laughs> He out the block. He out. Yo, what is you doing to him blocking people, man? Drinking eggnog and kissing white bitches under the mistletoe. What the fuck is going on? Bro, this is crazy. I told you I never followed a book of Bond, man. I do. Yo, the fuck yo, but that, nobody man. on the internet cares except for Bond. Like nobody be like, oh, you're playing a video game. When nobody cares except for Bond. The viewers don't care. YouTubers don't care. Nobody cares. Only Bond. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that shit too funny. Oh, nobody cares. Yo, he's still in the comment section. We, we got we got over five hundred people in here already. Apparently, nobody cares what day. Yo, it is. If you're gonna be in that. Listen, first of all, the funny thing about it is all of the big YouTubers are gonna upload videos tomorrow. Facts. Like, they yeah. did it on Thanksgiving. They're gonna do it tomorrow. Like, ain't nobody trying to hear that. They still gonna make their money. You so so we did. And people still gonna watch that shit, dog. You know what I'm saying? It's just facts. The world definitely don't stop because Bond think you a social reject. Yo, if you could be in the comments, you could be in the podcast. Oh, you sitting right there. Listen, I, I can guarantee Bond right now in his room on the PC ain't doing nothing. Ain't nobody over there. <laughs> festivities <laughs> don't start till tomorrow if there's going to be any festivities at all, or at least later on the night. Bond, like, I do not care about you, bro. I don't care what you do. I just, I just don't like the play. Like, I don't care what you do. <laughs> like, have at it, bro. He know damn well he won't be in this podcast right now. We trying so hard. Have the at it. Just stay don't, out don't, of this shit. Don't be trying to impose your, your book of bond rules of of days. <laughs> you can't like you can't be on the internet. Like we don't abide by that, bro. Like bond will be like, hey, you you really making a video while the Stanley Cup is going on? Like nigga, don't nobody's watching the fucking hockey. He said the Stanley Cup. <laughs> don't nobody watch fucking hockey. Nigga, nigga, it could it could be Lincoln's birthday. Bond be like, what are you doing? <laughs> about Lincoln's birthday. Oh, it could be the fucking man. championship spelling bee. That's the oh, championship shit. for the spelling bee. And you were making a video <laughs> on Twitter on President's Day. Like, oh, boy, you might as well come in here. You get flamed up, boy. <laughs> oh shit! You be killing oh. me. You're really making a video on National Cookie Day. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Oh shit! Hey, that shit too funny, man. Yo. This nigga be like, yo, I be like, man, everybody's not into these fucking sports, dog. Like, who gives a fuck? <laughs> God forbid! Oh my God! God forbid funny. you 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 freaking uh, uh, do a live stream on Super Bowl day or something. Oh yes, yeah, right. I think not gonna let you live. Don't nah. Super Bowl. <laughs> oh shit! That shit funny. We got anybody else coming? Or it's just us. We don't need rejects uh, for the day. One other invite. Um, I'm gonna see if you get in there. But uh, yeah, let's get to these uh, intros. Uh, first, uh, Stefan or Steven, however Steven. you pronounce it. Uh, yeah, uh, I'm Sudi Tudi. I run an anime channel. I used to do 
a uh, or I used to have a gaming channel. It's still up, but most of the time I'm talking about anime. I play a lot of games. Uh, I came on here because I made a video about uh, exclusives and multi-platform games and all that stuff. So uh, if you care about like anime gaming stuff, go ahead and check me out. All right, yeah, we're gonna just discuss, you know, the his his video um, that he made because you know it was what, it was a well. Video, what, what his video got to do with the Weapon World podcast? No, because it was a good, it was a good topic. Like you know, what's the topic? It was about the you know whole exclusive argument. I mean, he it was a well crafted video, God. so we just wanted to bring it up. Just what, what's what's up. his argument? Well, well, let's get to the um, let's do the intros first. I uh, hope Jimmy. it ain't that. Uh, oh my God, Jimmy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even gonna participate in this bullshit. I hope it ain't the other way. I hope it ain't I'm exclusive. I hope it ain't the new definition of exclusives and all that. I'm not participating in that. I'm gonna be quiet. Oh, Jimmy. <laughs> hey, yo, what's up, man? It's J Mega Games. Uh, Merry Christmas to everybody in the chat. Peace. I'm here. Let's go move. What are you recording on, bro? Mark is low. Yeah, you sound crazy, bro. My bad, my girl's in um, the room wrapping my gift, so I, I can't be on my computer for like at least another 10 minutes. But, Tell her to wrap it somewhere else. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, as if I got that much pull. Oh, yeah, you sound better. You sound better. <laughs> okay. Okay, we see you wear the pants. So I ain't going to push it. <laughs> Jack? Hey, what's popping, everybody? It's, uh, it's Jack Mo, man. The guru at Giddy Up. But you can also call me your... <coughs> your... Battlefield commissioner, and I'm better than BG. Facts. <laughs> Get fucked, BG. You can lie to yourself too till Get Sean fucked, rubs you at night, nigga. <laughs> Shut up. Uh, all right. Yo, what's good, everybody? Welcome to the podcast, man. Thanks for being a reject with me today. All y'all right. social rejects. Thanks for joining. Merry Christmas, nigga. And uh, cycle. He just joined. I don't know if you're ready. Cycle, you there? Can you hear me? Yeah, go ahead. What's up, everybody? This is Cycle, man. Uh, thanks for having me on. Uh, let's get to it. All right. Merry Christmas Eve. Merry Christmas. Uh, <laughs> we ain't going to see y'all tomorrow and everything like that. Or, well, podcast will be tomorrow, whatever. Uh, podcasts on uh, iTunes, SoundCloud, uh, Google Play, episode 72. Um, first order of business, Jimmy, you're being brought up on some charges. We oh, didn't, oh, didn't this, so. oh man, I forgot uh, about that, man. Yeah, yeah, so, uh, yeah, man, man, man you want to uh, make your case? Weapon wheel court is open. <laughs> bring that, bring that man. Hold on. First of all, spoiler alert. Uh, this is for Dead Rising Four. Um, shit, I mean, it ain't even got a real ending. I don't even know how it can be spoiled, but yeah. Spoiler alert. So, if you plan on playing Dead Rising Four, you might not want to hear this right now. So, I'm just letting y'all giving y'all forewarning. Uh, Cause Jimmy lied, or I don't know what the fuck he was thinking. But um, <laughs> he's talking about the ending of Dead Rising Four. You do indeed have to buy that season pass or that DLC if you want to see an actual ending for Dead Rising Four. So, yeah, spoiler alert from here on out. Playing this shit right now. God damn. <laughs> what, well, shit. Well, all right, go ahead. No, no, go ahead. Go ahead. I'm, go, go. All right. So, Jimmy claimed that at the end of the game, it wraps it up all nicely. <laughs> Uh, when it doesn't, at the end of the game, Frank West falls off the fucking helicopter, and it appears that he is being eaten by zombies. But he don't, which you, which you will have to find out to buy the DLC. He actually survives, and he has to find a cure. This game, this could have, this could have been in the full game. In fact, I guarantee it was, and they decided to chop it off and make it DLC. If you don't buy the DLC, you will not get an actual ending. I don't know what the fuck. Uh, Jimmy was talking about when he said that. Uh, okay. Would you like to defend yourself, Mr. Uh, BG? Yeah. Yes. Uh, may I approach the bench, Honorable uh, BG and members of the Weapon World Court? Of course. Okay, thank you, thank you. Uh, I will be representing myself here in this case. Um, uh, members of the chat as well, I would like your input. Um, first of all, I would like to say that um, <clears throat> can I please have a link to the uh, actual ending of the game? Uh, video? Yeah, the uh, DLC that they said has the actual ending. Okay, let me uh, look that oh, up. Did the DLC even come out yet? Exactly my point. <laughs> what the fuck is that? What the fuck <laughs> that everybody, everybody says that. It's uh, not like a copy it. defense. I don't know what the fuck is They already give you the description of the DLC. 
Yeah, but they also tell you in the end of the game that he got bit and that um there's a lot going on that you'll have to find out in the months to come. In the DLC. But, um, and the DLC uh just tells you that he's alive and he may need Zombrex. No, no, the DLC tells you that he's alive and it's your race to find a cure and you start to unlock a whole bunch of other shit that's going on on your way to finding this cure. The game only has um, seven chapters. Um, can they I have the link? Can I have the link to the? Game. Can I have the link? Can I have the link to the DLC, please, so I can download it and play and see if it don't fit. It's not out yet. There you go. Exactly my point. Thank you. So you, you're stating the absence of evidence is, is yes. defense. Okay. Yes, okay, okay. No, okay. the defense is they describe what the DLC is. Uh, can I see the DLC with the actual in there? Oh, gosh. <laughs> Listen, at the end of the Keep game, for this. At the end of the game, when you fall off the helicopter, you think, right. okay, the game is going to continue. Frank West is the star of right. the game. Right. He has no ending. Frank West didn't, be, he wasn't the hero. He didn't save the day or he didn't die. You have All to right. fucking All buy right. the me, DLC me, to get an ending. All right, let me further my explanation. We don't know if the DLC is going to be some kind of dream sequence. We don't know what the real ending is. We don't have the DLC to what? confirm that. We don't have the DLC to prove that there's going to be an actual better ending or anything. The DLC may not even have a real ending. <laughs> but uh, we can we can just prove. So how this does by, the ending uh, that you get now? How does that wrap up the game nicely, as you said in the past? Because at the end of the game, it looks like he dies, and we don't know if he's going to. But we know he doesn't die. But we know he. We don't know if he's going to die in the DLC either. Well, we got to get that. We got to get the DLC to find point. out. Thank you. That's my whole point. Thank you. That would be the oh, ending if he does die. Thank Listen, you. Okay, I get it. Point, made, that point proven right there. That's not no point proven. We don't know. <laughs> that's my point. Oh, Everybody's my. arguing about it. I know we don't know because we got to buy the DLC to find out. That's, that's why what we don't they're know. saying. But how do we know if when we buy the DLC, we don't find out shit? What, what if oh. they have another cliffhanger in the DLC, sir? We don't know the answers, way. We don't know the answers. Yeah, well, we not hear this shit. Um, you can provide a link to it so we can prove that. It's not out yet. Thank they cut the game proven. early, Thank and you. they want you uh, to I, wait I, for the DLC. I vote to adjourn. Oh, my Ooh, God. okay, okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> all right, so uh, jurors, jurors of the state of Weapon Wheel uh, in the comments section, uh, you've heard uh, both the pros prosecution and the defense. We're going to uh, need you to deliberate and render a verdict in the comment section. Is uh, Jimmy guilty, innocent, mistrial? Do we need to delay this court session until Ooh. the DLC actually actually comes out? What is it? Ooh. I mean, we could do that. There's no ending on the base game. <clears throat> there no may ending. be no ending on the DLC as well, though. <laughs> Saying a lot of guilties in the uh, chat right now. I'm saying a lot of exposed guilty, guilty, oh, guilty. Man. guilty man. I, see, I see like three delays. I, I, we, okay, you might be guilty until proven until proven innocent when the DLC. First of all, out. it was I already reported. Innocent. It was already reported by Is somebody me. playing with a rattle. What the fuck going on? It was it was already reported by multiple media sites that you had to pay for the ending before we even played the game. Yeah, but now I, but, I got to play it myself and confirm. That yes, that there you is indeed an have to buy a DLC to get the true ending. But how do we know if there's going to be a true ending on a DLC? There may be an ending, but it may be just like this ending. That's my whole point. Well, then they're going to be real about the that. next DLC. Right. They might string you along. Who knows? They might still, give us you still got to pay DLC Multiple to get an ending. That's they the may give us something free. They gave us DLC for Christmas. Oh, my God. Oh, I, would, I would have liked the ending for Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we got an ending. You just didn't like it. No, that was not no ending, dog. Because the hero, the hero didn't save the day nor die, so there's no ending. He well, did the, save that. He saved everybody that was involved except for himself. No, That's he what the hero does. No, he didn't. He sacrificed himself for the, for the greater good. No, he didn't. When, when they tell you in the DLC that there's other shit and, uncovered, and you and you beat the main villain of the game in the end. But they tell you in the DLC that there's a lot more going on than meets the eye. Yeah, but they tell us that, but then they add a timer and do all this other shit. It sounds like just extra gameplay. Nah, it sounds like they chopped off the ending and make you pay for it. Nah, I don't think they'll And it's like the first time that fucking Capcom and did this, so it's not like it's it's really shocking. They did it before, so. Have you guys played the DLC of Dead Rising 3? What? No, I'm actually doing that now. Actually, he said Dead Rising Three DLC. Did you play the DLC of Dead Rising Three, like the extended stories and stuff like that? I didn't. 
because all, all that all those DLCs were like stories of all the people you encountered and how they got to those positions. Right. That's what I'm expecting them to do here. That's what I'm trying to tell them. Like they're gonna no, do stories, not, but it's not gonna, it's not gonna have nothing to do with. But that. I think it's a continuation of the end. Though. They already explained what the DLC is. So the DLC is him needing to survive because he's bitten. We know that. And there's other truth that's uncovered. The story, yeah, is not but that finished. might be other stories, not no, the, same the story. story. Is the the, not the guy from the character from the main story is dead. The story Whoa. is not finished. Yeah, not you, dead. you kill, you do Same. kill the, the the main zombie, the mechanical. You talking about the? That's not the end. Spoiler alert! That's the right end. That's the end of the game. That's not the end, dog. That is All the right, end of the so. game. We're gonna have to uh, make this. Uh, Be guilty for now. This is guilty no, until no, 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 no. when the that sounds no, no, no. out. It may be overturned. I, I would like to appeal this. We, I mean, we, we I mean, that. Be fine for exposing the end of the game. The game's not even a month old yet. But well, ain't nobody gonna play it no way. So. No. Really? Yeah, but that no, it don't matter, smooth. Because think about it. They're saying it don't even have an ending, and it does have an ending. They just don't like it. Oh, that's yeah. not the end. Move on. Move on. Interpretation at that point. Nice. Then. Yeah. We'll move Hold on. on. Did you beat that? Did you beat the game, Kiss Move? Oh, I'm taking my time. I'm doing a chapter every two days. Oh, you taking? You've been moving very slow. <laughs> yeah, even, yeah. I'm on like chapter like uh, five, I believe. I'm trying to All really right. stretch that thing out. So uh, let's let's move, let's, end let's, let's move on to the uh, that's going to be delayed until the DLC come out. Let's move on to uh, Phil Spencer. So uh, Phil Spencer was talking with some other Xbox du Xbox dudes in the community and the topic of like third party deals and how he doesn't necessarily like them. So you know when he came into power, he st they still did some. But not as much as you know they used to do during the 360 days. So you know he's he's against it. He's made that clear, and you know a lot of people brought up you know you know said he was being like a hypocrite in some ways because Tomb Raider did exist, uh, the Division DL uh, exclusive content existed, and a few other things. So it's not like they don't use it. Um, you know Microsoft still saying. utilizes it, and it's what's made them successful in the past. So I don't, and he he's against it, but I don't see anything wrong with it. Like. He's, he's like a lot of those games that, that you mentioned. A lot of those deals were established during the 360 era, though. Nah, bro. Nah, <laughs> yeah, nah, bro. Yeah. I mean, yeah, but still, it's still it's like, look. It don't matter. Agree. It still happened. Yeah, That's the yeah. point. If both of them are doing it, no one should say anything about it. it, it, it I just said well, they he, weren't doing he, it. He made another tweet about it, and it sounded like he just ain't got no control. Like if they want to do it, they're going to do it. He ain't got nothing to say. He can't. And he just personally he don't agree with it. Yeah. He don't agree with it, but he also can't change it. Because the people hired him wants that, and he just got to suck it up. But I shout, out, shout out to Phil Spencer for unfollowing Iron Wolf anyway, though. He unfollowed who? <laughs> Iron Wolf. He was following him to begin with? Like, what the fuck? Yeah, he unfollowed him. Well, yeah, as much dick sucking as they did, I bet he was. <laughs> so shout out to Phil Spencer for that, though. I don't see anything wrong with the third party deals, though. Like, it's not a bad thing. It, company wise, like, it's not great for us necessarily, but doesn't, you know, if you got all, all the platforms, it doesn't really hurt you anyway. But I think it's a it's just business and being competitive. And yeah, of course, I do like the, the the only bad thing about Phil Spencer. Like, if I was like the head of that company, I would feel like he's not as competitive and he's not about you know really winning. Um, I guess over the competition, he's more of like a, a fan pleaser. Yeah. I mean, I they're trying to win. They're trying their damnedest. You see, I mean, the shit they yeah, they it's, it ain't win. about winning, though. It's just about being profitable. Like, yeah, that's all that matters, though. But that's real. the problem. They want to win. They're not worrying about. Um, well, I mean, the more you win, the more money you make. Yeah, that's yeah. true, too. Yeah. It's all, at the end of the day, it comes down to profit line. Yeah, but I want them to do some shit, like make some new IPs and shit. Scorpio coming well, out. Uh, Force of Seven's it. coming out. Force you ain't looking for nah, it to nah, Voodoo Vents nah, remastered, bro? Nah, Force of Seven got leaked it. by a, a, a will company or nah, whoever company that's making the driver steering wheel. I want like a Gears of War or a Last of Us or something like that on there. I do know this, though. Like, I went on YouTube last generation, but I was on N4G. And I remember a lot of people saying that Microsoft was ruining gaming by having these third-party deals with Call of Duty and yep. uh, all these deals and shit like that. And so now it seems like everybody's okay with it and they're talking about hey it's good for you know good for business and stuff like that but i remember last generation a lot of people were saying that microsoft is evil and they're doing you know bad by the industry by buying these third party deals well microsoft is definitely everybody. evil you seen what they tried to do to you in 2013 so that's what they try to do what they try to do to you oh, oh you DRM, ain't see bro. you ain't see no. what did they try to what did they try to do you know, you ain't see the drm madness bro 
They tried Man. to stop you from being able to fucking sell games. They tried to stop you from being able to play offline. They tried to do a lot of shit. I don't know. Like for me, I was going to buy both consoles either way. I would rather have two separate consoles than two consoles that kind of that operate the same. I was going to get them day one anyway. So I look for I look forward to what Microsoft is doing because it kind of pushes the industry forward. I think um, with what they what they were trying to do, I feel like it pushed the, the industry a little bit. It's, the PlayStation Four is going to be a, a traditional simple console, but I feel like Microsoft was doing something different. Oh, by uh, trying to stop you from being able to fucking sell <laughs> you games and shit like that. Microsoft, I mean, that's, 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 that's what they were trying to stop. Hold on, they weren't trying like to stop not. you from doing anything. It's not, it wasn't a requirement to buy it. Like so you, didn't, you weren't required right, you didn't by didn't law to buy, to buy an up, Xbox. Oh my God, that's the shit y'all come up with. Yeah, but it's the truth. No, that's real. You don't. Have, you didn't have to buy it. But if you wanted to play the games and they don't fuck shit. Now I can't. I, I'm not supposed to buy. They, they trying to tell you to buy a PS4, bro. They get a PlayStation 4. I, I, that's that's how I felt about it. I'm like, I'm like, look, is, we have a company that's trying to do something. But what about the people that want to play different. Gears and Forza and shit like that? Yes, like, like, I'm not trying to buy 360. <laughs> no, I was just talking about that. Right. Right. <laughs> <laughs> no, they could have, they could have bought to build a PC. Hey, what, what about the people that was pissed off that Microsoft was putting the Ethernet cable in in their original Xbox? What they do? I, mean, they was about what? About mm-hmm. I, was, I was I was reading the, the little magazines back in the day. Microsoft got a lot of shit. It wasn't like it is now because of the internet, but they got a lot of shit for putting the Ethernet cable in the original Xbox. They were saying they would be anti-consumer. They don't care about people that don't have you know high-speed internet and all this kind of shit. Now you don't find you can't find a console without an Ethernet port on it. That's because it didn't have built-in yeah, Wi-Fi. Back, except the Wii. Back in that time, that's what I'm yeah. That's, that's what I'm saying. Back in that time, people were pissed at Microsoft for putting the Ethernet cable in there. They were yeah, but I don't think nothing was going to ever change. Yeah, people didn't understand the internet situation at that time like that, though. That's something totally different. Yeah, they didn't how, understand that. How, how is it different? It's, it's, it's pushing it from it's used pushing, game sales and all it's that. Push- the, it's pushing the industry forward. We, I feel like we're being hit. If a DRM on physical, you're not going to tell me who I can lend my back. games out to yeah, and exactly. when I can sell them exactly. and all that. Come on, knock it off. Not okay. on a disc, man. Knock it okay. off. You could shit. Well, didn't they say you can share your games? With, yeah, the, with the whole yeah, 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 now, now, yeah. About it, the game shit was amazing. That option would have been crazy. Game share, the game share. So you could have shared. You could have shared your games. It's not like the traditional way. No, like, you, you could share your game with one or two people, people. Like, like with a certain amount of people. Was it like? No, it was ten, wasn't it? Wasn't it ten? It was a family plan. It was like the T-Mobile Five shit. Yeah, it's like five, I think. Right. In a way, you in a way they were gonna have it was crazy because you wouldn't have to log into anybody's Xbox. You would just select from your friends or whoever. And they would be the people that had access to it. Nah, bro. You had they had to have the access to your account. They do it though. I know that. I mean, you could do that. Now, now, you had to Everything trust that motherfucker. Hey, Smooth, your voice muffled, bro. You got to get closer to, your, to, your, to the mic where... No, no I'm saying listen. with the family, with, with the planet they were going to have, with it, origi- with it built into the system, it wouldn't have been like, oh, this person has to log into your account. They would have... You would have been able to select who gets access. And they, they probably would have locked you out after like, all right, all right, you can't select no more. And they probably... It would have been limited for like maybe six months to a year to do that. Man, it was trash. That's why the industry was <laughs> yeah. bad. The but we're using it. We can't lie. That, that was the only good thing about it. That wasn't yeah, good. That sounded good. I ain't going to lie. The industry was in uproar for a reason. It sounded of real Of course, because it, it they was tried scared. To do, tried to, yeah, they tried to do it too quick. That's yeah. that's what I think. I think Microsoft was ahead of his time, ahead of yeah. itself. Mm-hmm. Right, to, right. They tried to push too soon. <laughs> they was ahead of their time oh. with weak ass <laughs> hardware. Okay. Why wasn't they ahead of their time with that hardware? I knew you were going to say that. I'm so sorry. Ahead of their time, 720p. How do you trade? How do you trade? Don't nobody give a fuck about no 720p, man. Come on, y'all. Nobody, nobody, really nobody, care. Care. nobody really, nobody what really cares. Care. You in, nigga? What year is you in? Really what year are you in? I can't allow about I that. Bought, look, I bought <laughs> that's that's you. I bought both of them consoles day one. I'm looking at Killzone, which was, which was supposed to be 1080p. No, no, I, I'm not I'm not bragging about. It. I'm just saying when I, I look at both of these systems, when I look at both of the games on my TV, they didn't look. Terribly different. They didn't look that much different from each other. To be honest with you. What on Xbox looked as good as fucking Killzone besides Rise? Killzone is a uh, very good, good looking game. You, uh, yeah, it, Killzone was a good. It, it was a good game, but it wasn't astronomically different like people on the internet try to make you seem try to make it seem like. It was not crazy like that. Like Sony exclusive. Like stop it. Like, like knock that out, man. Yeah, nobody wants time. to play in 720p in 2016, and what well, I mean, and back in 2013, like and Rise, was probably, do it. The, and Rise was probably one of the best looking games out of all of them. 
<laughs> it wasn't even 1080p. So you see that wasn't 720p neither, though. Like, it was 900. Yeah, that was, like, that was 900. No, it was 900. Yeah. Yeah. 900 yeah. It was oh, and it shows at the, after you play that PC version. <laughs> That's compared to PC. I'm talking it's about the all, average. It's all good when you ain't got nothing to compare. Listen, it's all good when you don't have nothing to compare it to. But after you play Rise on PC, then you go back to the Xbox One version. It doesn't look nowhere near as what you thought. That's on PC. Like, it just about doesn't. PS4 and the Xbox. No, but what I'm saying is, what I'm saying is, higher resolution does matter. It's just different when you don't know no better. That's the point I'm making. When you don't know no better, of course it is cool. But when you got better out there and you know it can be better, that's what you want. <laughs> We all want to move forward, not backwards. Exactly. So what I'm saying is when I'm looking at both of these, both of the systems and both of the games on both of the systems, it wasn't <coughs> as big of a difference as everybody made it seem like on the internet. It was big That's enough. That's saying. why yeah, more people bought it. Was not. You didn't notice it because you didn't notice it. <laughs> it was big enough. Okay. All right. So so yesterday I got into a, a back and forth on Twitter with uh, with Rags. Um, uh oh, <laughs> so it wasn't nothing crazy, so it was pretty much about grab, you know. Oh, it wasn't graphics. about your racist views, was it? Or your race views? Or nah, like it was that? about console <laughs> graphics and PC graphics. Oh, okay. So we, we know for the most part, like for the most part, the rule is that the PC version of a game is always going to look better, and PC games are always going to look better. Facts, but he, but he was making it seem like that there are just no games on consoles that are in the same boat of the best looking games on PC. And I told him like, he's completely wrong about that. Like, like Killzone and The Order 1886 and even Uncharted. And I'm like, you know, like he's, he's, pretty, he's pretty much downplaying Killzone like Shadowfall saying it doesn't look as good as, you know, Crisis. And I agree, but to say that there are no like- Hold on, which Crisis though? Huh? Which Crisis? Like I don't think Crisis Three looked that good. I think Crisis Two looked better than Three. But he was just well, talking. You're about crazy. Three. Crisis Three looked fucking amazing. I, I feel like Two. You gotta better. you gotta re-download Crisis Three, dog. You tripping? That's one of the best looking games still to this day. I gotta agree with e- that. Either way, my point was like all my, my all my point was in all his like you know view his uh followers started attacking me you know because they think and I'm saying console games look better than PC games. Not saying that at all. I'm saying there are games there specifically PS4 exclusives that look just as good or in the same boat as some of the best looking PC games. Um, somebody somebody made a video today that will um, actually prove that argument. If you go to uh, Digital Foundry, they put up a comparison of Watch Dogs, uh, the pro version and the PC version, and there were parts where the PlayStation looked better than the PC. And I was just talking about like ex- like console exclusives versus, versus, you know, PC version. People were like making it seem like I'm you, crazy. Like, but you, you argue with PC elitists. They, nothing is gonna, you know. But, but you're delusional if you, don't, if you don't think Uncharted can't go up against, or or the Order 1886 can't go up against some of the best looking games on PC. You're, as far you're as what, game, what games are you saying on PC? Like some of the games he named are like uh what was it Star Citizen? He said he said Titanfall yeah. Two looks better than Killzone. I was like, you're bugging. Well, he's talking about he probably talking about if it's in four K. But hey, no, it, 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 and and then I then Arsenal jumped into the conversation, and I'm gonna get y'all opinion on this. Arsenal thinks that Max Payne Three looks better than Uncharted Four, and I'm like, hell no. I, I on PC, I don't <laughs> think I don't think Max Payne on PC looks better than Uncharted Four. Well, not that, first of all, they're generations yeah. apart. Yeah, no, I never yeah. seen. I never seen. But, but yeah, so it's understandable. But like he was saying, it it clearly looks better, and I'm like, no, Max Payne three. Oh, I, Max Payne three looks like good. at max settings or at 4K looks better than Uncharted four. But if you put Uncharted four next to the graphical, like the max settings 1080p, Uncharted four still looks better. Well, that's the thing with PC. You got to talk about the highest it can go. You can't. You can't. You can't dumb it down to make it to fit an argument. But this is the thing. Uncharted, the character models have a higher polygon count than on Max Payne 3. They're generations apart. Mm-hmm. Now, when you play Max Payne 3, Max Settings 4K, it's, it's going to look a lot like, you know, sharper and shit like that. And Uncharted is going to look blurry. But as far as, like, character models, that goes to fucking Uncharted all day. And, well, yeah, character models definitely go yeah, to like- Uncharted. That's remember that part where you get spoilers. I should have played it already anyway. Um, the part <laughs> where you get shipwrecked with uh Sam, like that yeah. part in Uncharted on that island looked better than any part I've seen in Max Payne. Easily. There's there's nothing to compare to compare that part to in the game like Max Payne. 
You finna have a lot of angry PC dudes on your Twitter, bro. I wouldn't talk. I wouldn't. I wouldn't compare Max Payne, but when you look at other games, like if you look at Tomb Raider 4K Max settings, yeah, no, that should look better, that should look better than Uncharted. Yeah. yeah, like yeah, at max settings, 4K, absolutely, I agree. But, but that's PC though, so yeah. it's like my point was they were trying to make it seem like it, it. There was like no exception to the rule that PC versions of games just are always going to look better I mean, than anything that could possibly. No, be. It's, but it it's, always depends on the game. console games it too. Depends, right? it depends on the game, and it yeah. depends on the game. Yeah, yeah, most exactly. of the time, it's better on PC. My all I was saying to them was the rule is that PC games are going to look better. But there's also exceptions to the rule, and they're like, right. "No, it's always." But I'm like, "All right, y'all PC elite." They, they talking about resolution and shit. Yeah, That's the, what they PC about, elites yeah. just like can't see anything like objectively. PC is just always better 100 percent of the time when there are like bad, you know. There's, there's well, they, you gotta understand they looking at they looking at everything like ambient occlusion and all of that type of shit, and and you know anatropic filtering, and they looking at all that. So when it comes to all that, we already know that consoles can't compete with that mm-hmm. type of shit. Yeah, raw distance and all of that. They looking at all of that. They're not looking at just the main character and five feet in front of them. Mm-hmm. Feel mm-hmm. what I'm saying? So when it comes to like everything, the, the entire picture, we already know PC is going to be better. Exactly. There's just... We look at the entire yeah. picture. So it's but Killzone looks good. That shit look good as shit. I, I just amazing. played Killzone this year and I was like, yo, this game looks fucking beautiful. So you know, all I was yeah. saying to these dudes like, yo, there's there's exceptions sometimes, but they they just wasn't getting it, you know. But nah, they gonna go in depth. So if if it really became like a back and forth on peace, you know, niggas start making videos, they gonna write. You they gonna go real deep. Yeah, they're gonna be going through all fucking uh settings. So yeah. you 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 probably lose that at the end of the day. Yeah, they they because they gonna go in like when I was all the way like I wasn't even saying like the games on consoles look better, but I was like I was literally saying that there are some games that you could put in the same boat graphically. You know what I'm saying? Like that look as good, or you can put in the best graphics category with some of the these PC games. But they wasn't having that either. No, it's just they're not on the same level. <laughs> no, <laughs> they're gonna start. They're gonna start looking at shadows. Yeah, they're gonna shaders everything. They're gonna pick that shit apart, and you know, piece of consoles be having a lot of shortcuts that you might not notice because you ain't really paying attention. But they're gonna find all that if it really was to become some big debate. Yeah. All right. So I just wanted to know what y'all thought about that. But um. All right. Um, Crytek. Uh, after we learned about them not paying their their employees, they shut down five studios. I didn't even know they had five oh. studios. But I, I didn't know they had five studios. I, 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 I didn't yeah. know that. No, hell no. They said they're gonna get back to uh, the roots and the basics of what they used to do. Which Make is, pretty games with bad stores. Yeah. Pretty, pretty <laughs> good. <laughs> Hold on, Jack. Move. What Crytek video game you played? I played Crisis. I thought it was trash. Sir. What, what Crisis you played? I played Crisis too. What, really? What, what a video for the chat? Um, <laughs> Actually, it is. It is a video of me playing a game with uh. Well, you know, you beat you beat the game. Hell no! How you know the story was trash? How far you got? Listen, Crisis. Nah, nigga, cause you be Cry making motherfucking statements. Cry make bad games. Cry, so. they make good looking games so bad. Wait, stories. okay, you okay, well, beat one. wait a minute, whoa, whoa, whoa. Crytek themselves, I said that gaming, their, uh, their games specifically are sixty five percent graphics, and the rest of it is whatever. That's what. They no, say. cause there's people out there that like their stories. So, ew. <laughs> it's pretty lame. <laughs> like a lot of people, a lot of like a lot of people say, Crisis One is amazing, story wise and fucking gameplay wise. Crisis Two was good, Rise was good. Those are two I played from. I like Rise. I like I like Crisis Three. I thought that was great. Rise story uh, was definitely good, especially the ending. But right, Crisis, take our hacks. facts. Crisis is and them two and three storylines was just putting me to sleep. It's all about. Them graphics. Well, most things put you to sleep. That's how you move on. But yeah, um, I think Crisis Three was good. Rise is one of my favorite games this generation. Uh, Crisis One, uh, I really don't really. I couldn't get into that shit. Right. Um, what's everybody's most uh, anticipated game for 2017? Horizon. Of course, Jack. Uh, oh damn. I don't even know, man. I ain't really hype. Ooh. Like Horizon and Crackdown. And maybe South Park. South Park. I can't forget that. Only Dragon Quest Eleven. Crackdown coming out next year? Supposed to be. Supposed to be, yeah. 
Uh, mine would probably be it, it's got to be between Neo and um, Horizon Zero Dawn. Between I ain't got no, I ain't are you gonna no beat problem. Neo BG? Like, uh, I beat all the other games. Like, oh, no, nah, right, bro. My, my game would be uh, Red Dead if it comes out. That's supposed to come out next year, yeah. yeah. If, if. At, the end, at the end of next I year, I doubt it, I doubt it, but you know, if. If it don't come out by November, bro, it ain't. ain't if Rockstar shock us, you know what I'm saying? And, and, and <laughs> well, you can pre-order it now. Well, of course. I don't mean it's coming out. Yeah, I'm being, I mean, <laughs> we're forgetting about Red Dead also, uh, if that comes out next year still. That shit ain't coming out. Um, I'm going to still say that get de- delayed till like April 2018. We'll go with that bet. I'll be there when it come out. Uh. Um, Rockstar, you might as well don't even wait for the date. I mean, worry about the date. Just, <laughs> just wait till the shit actually release. <laughs> so, God of War is playable from beginning to end, but you know, so, so some people are speculating a 2017 release. But playable literally means that it's just the game is just put together. It doesn't mean it's running well or anything. Uh, like that. It doesn't mean that I it's don't, finished. It doesn't mean finished. Yeah. I think even if it is finished, they're not going to release it in 2017. Yeah. That just means you can go through the whole game. It means there's probably bugs everywhere, and like all the assets in the game ain't there. It's just playable. So yeah, yeah, that don't mean shit. So some people are thinking 2017. No. I don't think so. I, what's that? What the fuck is that game called? The zombies and shit. I think that's gonna be their big it's game awesome. next year. Yeah, days. I think they trying to bring that out next year. I don't think that's gonna be ready either. She might not be. Mm. But um. Did anybody try out the uh, Near Automata demo or the? Gravity? I actually beat that demo, bro. Oh, you feeling that? So, uh, it, it actually wasn't. It wasn't bad, even though Platinum Frogs made it. It wasn't that bad, bro. Well, they, you know, they make every one one good game every four games. Oh, so that, they, they do, hold on, did they just do the combat? They didn't make this game. No, they made the whole game. Score eighty six. Story is no story in anything. I th- I don't know. I, I could have swore they was only responsible for the combat. Oh really? Oh shit! I'm giving them too much credit then. And my God, my God, look that up. I thought I heard only for the combat. <laughs> but um, yeah, people saying it was it was good, so uh, it might, you know, they gonna deliver on that apparently. And uh, the next game that they make coming out after that is Scalebound, I think. So that's probably gonna be trash, <laughs> only because you know they have a record. They have a record. They put out one good game every four games. So I'm just saying. Uh, that is, that that is factual. Out, they ain't never put I'm out a good game. To no, that's all I hope not. I hope not. I, I just find it funny everybody got going out buying there and they ain't play the first one though. Like, what's going on with that? <laughs> People really don't care about stories, man. Well, this, one, this one looks a lot better. I ain't, the um, first there was was pretty mediocre. For me. I didn't even. I never even seen. I don't even think I wasn't seen the first one like a three or three sixty only, or was it on PS3? No, I was on PS3 too. It was, on yeah. PS3. It was early. I think it came out early. I think. Yeah. Um, anybody? Yeah. I mean, back. Jack ain't like Gravity Rush because he didn't want to play as another female. Bro, so I just don't, was watching. I, I don't like the way that the story is told in Gravity that Rush. That fucking weird off y'all. No, bro, that, it's man. like it's just the story Gravity, is. T- I don't like Gravity the way this story, bro. Type. Yeah, I'm, I'm not feeling that, bro. Like, I ain't like I ain't like the way the camera was controlling neither in uh, Gravity Rush too. You got to adjust to the camera because you know I, I get sick easily, so I, I almost put the game down because <laughs> the first one put down because that joint was fidgety as shit, bro. Like, so. But uh, I liked it enough. Got the platinum in it, so. Oh, look at you! Mm-hmm. That must have been an easy platinum. No, I'm saying, like, yeah. yeah. It wasn't though. It took. It, it was. It, I did it in a week, so. It, That's it, all kind of easy, BG. It, it, I did it in a week. <laughs> I didn't think about it. <laughs> it was cool. Uh, Steam winter sale is up. Anybody buying anything? Trash. <laughs> well, no. Nah, I mean, it ain't. I mean, you know, winter sales ain't that good when you've been around for a while. And go to like two a couple of old games. Yeah, I got a couple of old games I wanted. If this your first sale, then it's probably amazing to you. You know what I'm saying? You go to like two or three of them, and there's nothing left for you to buy. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Facts. I mean, you can buy Batman five times. You know, they, they that there's always a huge Batman sale. Oh, shit. Somebody else on fire, bro. Hold on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, hey, say the kids, nigga. Get out. <laughs> Everything but the shirt on your back, and you about to lose it. Right, for real. Yeah, damn. Uh, <laughs> um, so, uh, more Nintendo Switch talk. Oh, God. Hey. Uh, L- Lowe specifically wanted me to point out, he, he, he liked to, he liked to, you know, look at the glass half full. So he's saying, apparently the word is, even though it's extremely underpowered, it's easy to develop for, which he believes will mean a lot of third party support. 
I mean, I don't fucking know, man. And we learned the CPU and the GPU clock speed, and it runs 40% slower when undocked. Pretty weak from what we've been hearing. It's a little bit stronger than a uh than a uh Wii U, right? Wii U, yeah. I heard it. There you go. I heard it's like a little bit stronger than a 360 or something around that. Jesus Christ. <laughs> that's what that's what I mean. I don't know if that's true, but people was tweeting me saying that it's a little bit stronger hey, than 360. Well, you have to be stronger than that because Wii U stronger than that. So. That's what. But let's so. go back to the shit Emily Rogers was saying on Twitter that it's gonna get a lot of like uh the ports that it gets is gonna be on par with like a 360 version. That's what she was saying. And that. I mean, shit. It is what it is. If you want, if that's what you want, man. You know, get your switch, bro. Yeah, I don't, I don't see no issue with it, man. Like Nintendo ain't gonna do nothing with a lot of power anyway, to begin with. And then on top of that, who ha- who's gonna use a Nintendo as their main console? That's the problem. I mean, but but still, ooh, though, you oh look around. You gotta give you gotta ooh. give people that option though. Like you never know. What like, you know what I'm saying? If if you're not if you're not trying to make your console the main console, then that's a problem. You, that's a that's a spot you need to be fighting for. Or you're just not gonna not, not really not if it's not if it's uh beneficial monetary. Well, they got a, to yeah, they got a different strategy though. You know, they do that blue ocean shit. Yeah, for the handheld, yeah. Be, being being the side chick ain't gonna last you like every generation. Hey man, it's not <laughs> they said they said they want to be the, <laughs> the secondary that, console. If you're getting that bread, if you're getting that bread, I don't think it's gonna matter. Mm, all right. Well, if you say so. Not to them. We don't know on the twelfth, man. We don't know what they're talking 3DS about. Their 3ds is is, is is making them bank right now, right? Yeah. yeah. The 3ds is the main bitch in charge in the handheld section. Yeah, but exactly. the 3ds is declining in sales though, and it sold worse than the original DS by like seventy five percent or some shit like that. It ain't selling like it used to, man. <laughs> yeah. Um, Resident Evil Seven is going to be 1080p, sixty frames on both consoles, uh, meaning Bond is. Just just in the same boat as console gamers. Oh shit! Damn. <laughs> so, Hold on. What's that? What? What is it? Resident Evil Seven, 1080p, 60. So console gamers going to be playing at the same resolution and frame rate as Black Bond. They'll have more graphical options. <laughs> Yo, what y'all think about Resident Evil Seven? That ain't I ain't never. Resident I ain't never. I think it looks cool. It's what y'all think about? Outla- what y'all think about Outlast Three? That's definitely not it's Resident Evil. Outlast. It's, it's definitely Outlast. Like, it's a man. cool game. I'm not saying it's gonna be a bad game, but it's not Resident Evil. Mm. I'm, just, I'm, just, I'm not I'm not I'm not thrilled about the switch to first person. Like people talked about the you know the change that it made before, but I think like this change is more drastic. Hell yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's a way more perspective. Yeah. yeah, third person is was just what this this game was, and I don't I don't think first person really helps it that much. That, that's a game you need to play in VR, bro. Like, yeah, yeah, in my, in my opinion, first like, it's, the, it's, the, it's a cool game for what it is, but I, it's not Resident Evil. It agree. feels more like um, Aliens Isolation to me in the evil world, and I ain't like Aliens Isolation. Shit, nobody did. No, Aliens Isolation was considered a good game. Oh, when I mean, you said Isolation, I think you was talking about. I think you talking about the other one. It reminds me of uh, Devil's Devil's Reject, that movie Devil's Reject. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. I just want to know is the whole game gonna be in that low ass house? That's all I want. No, nah, it's not. It's not. Nah. Yeah, well, no, nah. because you gotta go on the ground and go. <laughs> it takes you a lot of. How could the whole game be in the house though? They're trying to be short as shit. Like, <laughs> and, uh, and it's not like. I think I read an article. The developer said. It's not going to be very weapon heavy. Like you're going to have to like really search a lot to find weapons. Yeah, I could tell. Outland three. <laughs> yeah, so I'm saying it's not about weapons. It's not like twenty. Like I think it's going to be some hardcore survival shit. Jack move. You're going to duck it, ain't you? Yeah. Hey, so hey man, <laughs> I didn't have no interest in it to begin with, sir. Yeah, had no interest in the Resident Evil game at all. After six, hell no. Well, we know it ain't going to be six. We know they were going. I mean, it's going to be better than six. Yeah. We know they were going back to more survival horror. You know what I'm saying? It seems scary though. I would say that it seems a little, a little scary for playing a demo. Yeah, yeah, it do it do. The mannequin part made me jump. That was the only thing. The mannequin part. <laughs> the part where you go to the where you go to the door and you the turned around. That shit was right in front of your face. Yeah. That part, <laughs> that part made me jump. I ain't gonna lie. No, it's gonna be scary though, man. I mean, it's gonna be popping. Um, what else we got? Uh, Red Dead Redemption. Uh, they might 
follow the same formula as GTA Five, and you might play as three characters. Oh God! Well, that could be cool. Yeah, it's rumored. Shit, it worked in GTA Five. I don't see why it wouldn't work in that. Um, would y'all want it to be three or just one? I, I'd rather it be one personally. But if you if it's focusing on the whole like gang and shit, I mean, I'd rather just play as John. What you do? You think it's gonna be about his time? Um, now, I saw a name Jack, right? Yeah, son is Jack Marston. I'd rather just play as John. Bro, if they oh. join a, pe- a prequel, bro, that's gonna be disappointing. Nah, bro. I don't want it to be no prequel. Nah, for real, man. They need to continue the story where it was nah, going. I don't want it to be no prequel. That's bullshit. It's looking like one, though. It is It is looking like a prequel, bro. That's, that's gonna be, gonna be whack, bro. Like, because we already didn't know the main what character die in the first one? Huh? Did the main character die in the first one? Yeah. Spo- spoiler alert! Yes, he did. Oh my bad. Spoiler alert, nigga! That shit came out fucking six years. I mean, ago. like, well, yeah, but he did die, and we need a sequel, bro. Like, and that was a moment that had your jaw on the floor too. Oh, I was shocked, bro. That was die. shocking, bro. Yeah, I, that shit was so touching. I thought about it days afterwards. Like that shit did. I, I, low key, that did have me in my feels, bro. I'm like, God damn. I was they fucked up on that. My nigga, though, that was my nigga. I was yeah. fucked up on that part, dog. They <laughs> lit his bro. ass up. Niggas was like restarting that checkpoint, see if they could kill everybody. Like, nah, 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 fam, nah, fam. That joint was like the end of the set it off, nigga. When Queen Latifah called it, oh, like, yeah. goddamn, not like this. I don't really want it to be not a like this. I mean, if it's a prequel, I'm gonna play it, but I don't want no prequel, man. And then, okay, look, if it's a prequel, then they definitely, then it will be better if they got three different uh, protagonists because they need that. Yeah. Because we already know what happens. Yeah, like, this shit gonna be whack, bro. Like, oh, my God. Well, it ain't gonna be whack. This rock star. Nigga. I mean, I'm saying, I'm like, disrespectful, I w- nigga. I want to see a continuation of the story, man. Like, me too. But if they're gonna do a prequel, they gotta have three main characters, man. Mm. Man. And the focus can't be on John because we already know what happens to him. Don't all of them die, though? That's the thing. Or yeah, most, I think so. I think, yeah. Most of them in his crew end up dying. So. Well, like the lad dude named Bill or something, he killed his ass, too. Yeah, so it's like, we all playing his characters. We all know what happens to him. Everybody them. catches a nail. Yeah, that's why I, I hope it ain't no prequel. Okay. So this ain't nothing we care about. Nobody in this room. But it's a big deal on the internet, so I put it in. Oh, Tracer God. is gay. I don't care. I don't even like Overwatch. What? I thought it was obvious, but who was gay? Tracer, the tracer, chick. the chick with the yellow pants, oh, girl. Yeah, from where? Overwatch. Yeah, they said oh, they. Banned it because of that. Why is that a thing? Like, why? Why do people? People why? actually care about video game characters being. Why they even put that out there? Hold on, was this, hold on. Was this an outcry or something? No, yeah, people mad. People mad. Didn't it get banned because yeah. of, of that? It got banned somewhere because of that, right? People mad. Yeah, yeah they made a comic book and that was like the story. Yeah, yeah, Russia. I think it was. Yeah. Yeah, it was probably Russia. Yeah, because they make um little stories behind all their characters. It just helps the lore of the game, and people Tracer are like, a woman? love it." Yeah, Trace a woman. Yeah, I mean, so. wrong with two bitches. She was the one that got mad because her like <laughs> her booty was in the shot and shit. You remember that? I ain't nothing wrong with two whores. That's cool. Yeah. Two whores. <laughs> You know, some people don't like it because you know they feel like it's being it's forcing an agenda and everything like that in video games and uh, you know, all, the, all the other. I don't. I don't, I don't think you can like say it. that's like. Yeah, I, I don't think you can say that's forcing an agenda because it's like it's external and it's after the game came out. It's not like it's being used to like advertise the game at all. Yeah. You know I mean, like. Uh, I don't like, even like the games. games. I don't care. They'll promote promote it in like the story and make sure that's in the fucking trailer. Yeah. Like, so nah, these fucking freaks mad because they found out they was jerking off to a lesbian. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, like, <laughs> I'm gonna get money and it's some bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> that's just I don't know who gives a fuck really though. Who like, cares? No, she's still I, trash. Hey, fuck? People was mad when Ellie kissed the bitch. Yeah. <laughs> who gives a fuck? I wish they would have had a full on girl on girl sex scene. In <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Jesus. Jesus. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You could have threw Ellie legs back, nigga. That shit would have been lit. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> well. <laughs> A little bit underage, I ain't even sitting there. I ain't playing this no more. This is bullshit. Give a fuck, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. I definitely don't care. I, I had to put it in the title just to get them, uh, you know, just to get them search optimization clicks. <laughs> Feel me? Damn, BG. Yeah, listen, sometimes you gotta you gotta do the wording I, in the title. I feel you, bro. I feel you. Show up. So they said she only 15. <laughs> hey, <man. laughs> 
<laughs> she not real. That's the problem. She don't fucking exist. That's the fucking point. Listen, she don't she don't fucking exist to be getting mad over. None of these video game right, characters, video game characters, characters right. exist. Why are y'all getting mad over these motherfuckers? Like they don't fucking exist. That's just like I don't know, bro. So Oh yeah, just going back real quick. So the kind of the whole thing that happened after Phil Spencer. So uh, IXCM or whatever the website. Oh, is, a great website. Made an article saying Phil was the Phil Spencer claps back at PlayStation <laughs> fanboys. When it enraged uh-huh. fanboys or some shit. Yeah, it was like PlayStation fanboys when it was mostly Xbox dudes in that conversation at first. I'm like, it is crazy. Didn't this they put thing. a picture of Hard Eight up there? With how, that how did he clap back? What, what do you mean? What happened? No, no. He really didn't even clap back. I don't even know what they. I mean, he just had them all riled up. Basically, I tweeted out um, that uh, hypocritical, you know, the tweet that he made about you know securing third party exclusives and all that. It was he was being a hypocrite. So I retweeted it and I said the uh, hypocritical uh, tweet of the year goes to Phil Spencer and shit. So then somebody else replied to it. And um and then Phil Spencer replied to him like, "Hey, we did that on two games that we published," and all of his oh, all man. of the X Fags was like, "Oh, drop the mic, Phil just destroyed the them." Fuck? Like, what are you talking about? <laughs> Phil ain't destroyed nothing. He ain't even like, like really. He was really? answering the question. I mean, what he was yeah. saying was those those were games that he that they published, so like Tomb Raider. When somebody brought up Tomb Raider. Who gives? They're still a third-party game, though. At the end of the day, he was being a hip. The, what, what, he's, what, he's saying, what he's basically saying is that those games probably wouldn't exist if they didn't put the publishing rights. I'm, I'm sure Sony would have publish, publish But them. at the end of the day, they still got exclusive deals on games like Division, FIFA over there in the UK, and shit like that. So his, yeah. so it went against what he tweeted. Yeah. The deals they made went against what he tweeted. So that's he, was ba- he was basically bragging about being finesse because the games they publish is gonna outsell on a different platform. So congratulations. I just didn't like how the article, you know, he like he. But actually, that's not that's not true, uh, Jack yeah. move because uh, Tomb Raider has still have not outsold. Okay, DS okay, but check this out. <laughs> according according to VG charts, the only numbers that I we have, mm-hmm. it sold one point around one point three on the Xbox mm-hmm. in a year. And it sold over nine hundred k, which is Damn. roughly only four hundred thousand less in ten less months. Here's so, my, you know, here's my question though: What I'm thinking, if the Xbox was the market leader, would he find these these deals so distasteful? Of course not. They didn't last generation. Because I'm, I'm wondering, you know, is it is being behind what makes him feel? I mean, I'm sure he's salty that it, the shit ain't working. Like, of course. I mean, yeah, what it is. I don't know. You know, is it uh, if they're winning next generation, is it going to be cool again? <laughs> winning, <laughs> like it again. Next, next generation winning. That's funny. Now, we we gonna be back when that Scorpio drop though. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Jimmy wishing on a star. <laughs> that Scorpio ain't gonna change nothing. I guarantee you. You know why? Nope. Because when the Scorpio come out, the PlayStation Pro gonna be two hundred dollars. <laughs> Ooh, know, that, is that is true. That is true. Yeah, Low key. Price that's point. Price. Price. About Low key. Price. That shit gonna <laughs> be market. that expensive. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. That's that's a fact. And they might drop a game. Something like I mean, they already. I mean, it's a lot of games in the Sony pipeline, so you know what I'm saying. They got the games. To they might games, be. I mean, like something that's like serious. Like they might hold one in the barrel for that. They might. That's true. Oh, boy, Scorpio, do the same. <clears throat> yeah, y'all getting cracked down through with this Scorpio. Nah, y'all gonna get uh, four to seven. Down, y'all. Nah, y'all gonna get four to no, I mean, seven. Scorpio is getting everything that was, was gonna come out anyway on the Xbox. That, that is that is true. That is true. Nah, I want some new shit. You can see a thieves, bro. Calm down. Oh yeah, oh, Rockstar did make State of Emergency. I don't know if that game was trash. I never really that joint was ass. It was trash. Yeah, yeah, I pre ordered that wait, game. Wait, wait. Nope, sucked, nope, 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 nope. You like State of Emergency? State of Decay, you said right? State, no, of, emergency. State of Emergency no, 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 by no, no, Rockstar. No, 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 no. No, bro, that, that, joint. that was alright. That was alright. That was no, all right. bro. No, it was alright. It was alright. That all right. joint was ass, bro. And what's the other one? Border Runner, right? Uh, no, you talking about smuggle? Was it smuggle? Yeah, smuggle. Was run. Run. Talking about smuggle. Yeah, they, both of those was all right. Hold on, was that by Rockstar? Yeah, yeah they. Yeah. Oh shit! I done missed a lot of Rockstar games. Yeah, that joint was kind of cool, man. So, 
Uh, Steven, so you would you want to make your uh, case about the point you were you know making about uh, like, yeah. how council exclusives actually technically do exist? Okay, so uh, what I was getting at originally was that uh, for something to be exclusive, it doesn't necessarily have to be limited to a singular platform because like the definition just means that it excludes something else. Oh, but God. like the entire the console exclusive thing was basically that like the the idea that like it, a game is exclusive because it's not on the other console, say like a uh, uh, Street Fighter Five. So like people saying that Street Fighter Five is a a console exclusive, like they're not wrong in saying that it's exclusive in a sense, but the actual definition of a console exclusive would be something closer to like Destiny because you can't get it on PC. So when you're talking about exclusive, you have to think about it as a certain group and who is excluding, not necessarily one particular platform. Or it, so it, you believe that an exclusive, I just want to get this straight before I bounce okay. up out of here during this segment. You just want to, <laughs> um, you, basically you're saying is it can still be exclusive if it's on if it's on more than one platform. Yes, by definition. Okay, cool. I just wanted to know that. I'm going to mute myself and get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's, that's real. That's the, tr that's the truth. I mean, if that's the definition, I mean, shit, I, I ain't got nothing to tell you. I mean, but, but that's, someone, that's the truth. Someone did. If, if Sony's able to put console exclusive on their box, and nobody said anything, so so what's, you know what I mean? What's, what's the issue? That don't mean we agree with them. It doesn't mean we agree with them, but they're not wrong in saying that. Hey, man, play the games you enjoy on the platform that you enjoy. I mean, that's how I look did, at it. Someone did bring up a good point, uh, I think, in that video, like with, with, with the same thing with like Street Fighter V, right? So mm -hmm. like you said, with the concept of it, if it excludes something, that, that means it can be an exclusive. So is Street Fighter V also a PC exclusive? Because it excludes the Xbox also. And for shit, I guess so. I guess so, yeah, under technicality. But it would it would still be multi-platform because like the words exclusive and multi-platform don't necessarily cancel each other out is essentially what I, uh, that that's one of the bigger things that people have to start realizing. It's not as if like the words are opposite. So yeah, under technicality, I guess you would say that Street Fighter V is a like PlayStation PC exclusive, despite it being on more than one platform. <clears throat> and I'm gonna say this from the beginning because, for instance, my company is like we have a deal. Let's say we have a deal with, uh, let's say, a restaurant like Benihana's and a and a fast food chain like McDonald's. Okay, that deal can be exclusive to to McDonald's as far as a, a fast food restaurant. <clears throat> Even though, even though it's even though it's available at let's say a bigger restaurant like a, like a Houston's or or a Benihana's. Hey, bro, I'm hungry. Like, you got to stop all these food. My bad. My bad. My bad. <laughs> oh, yeah, all right. My bad. My bad. But technically, we can we can say that we can say that it's a fast food exclusive to McDonald's. So here's where it also gets a little fuzzy. So let's say a game is on PC, uh, PS4, and Xbox, but it's not on a Nintendo console. Is it an exclusive because it's not on a Nintendo console? Like, what does that make it now? That that was kind of something that I started thinking because I feel as if when you bring that up, you have to, like, consider if the Wii was ever considered is, like, part of that. I, I, that's That was... There's, there's kind of two ways I kind of see, like, you can... Or I feel you can see this argument. That's the one way. And then the other way is just simply saying, yes, because it excludes the Wii U. But the, the other way that's a little more... Uh, convoluted is kind of if you think if the wii was not included within competition or it's not germane to every other console then i guess you would say that it's not but if you're counting it as in competition because it's part of the same generation and technically regardless of it like actually being close in competition it's still competing then you would still say yeah it's an exclusive to the cut to the platforms that have it what are we talking about right now it's, it's again no, but you, you can't say you can't yeah. say console exclusive <laughs> If it's on Xbox and PlayStation and not on the Nintendo, like I, I don't think that, you can well, say that because I, Nintendo is a is a console. Yeah. So this this really complicates the whole meaning with the way you look at it. It does. Which is which is kind of what I was getting at was that I don't understand why we keep using the word exclusive when it's not as limited as people think that it is. I mm -hmm. just think that like instead of using the term exclusive as like a substitute for game, why not just refer to it as game? Because exclusive is a selling word, pretty much. Yeah. I mean, yeah. 
All right, all right. You got me. So that was pretty complex. We ain't gonna go down that rabbit hole again. <laughs> so, so, what was your video about? Do console? Okay, we we hear it somewhere else. Okay, <laughs> what was your video about? So, do, do uh, exclusive? Oh my god! Oh, the exclusive. Uh, does exclusive oh, matter to exclusive. consoles anymore? <laughs> no, it's a different topic. You didn't see a new kids move video, bro? It was lit. I don't yeah. watch kids move shit unless somebody link it to me. Oh, okay, never mind. <laughs> what what happened now? And I just made a video um, asking if uh, con- are exclusives important to console or do they still matter to consoles anymore? And I made my point by saying um, people are talking about all these exclusives, like oh, if this game ha- if this console has the has the more exclusives, the better one to have. And I, if people are talking as if the consoles are the reason why these con- uh, the exclusives is the reason why these consoles are selling. And um, I beg to differ, at least this time around, only because uh, actually you can actually go back. Um, whereas when you look at the top 10 selling games on any console, with the exception of Nintendo, um, it's usually dominated by multi platforms. In this generation, uh, it, it might be one exclusive that makes the top 10 on each console. But, and, and I was just looking at how many, looking at a game like, Let's say the highest selling game on PlayStation 4 is probably uh, Grand Theft Auto with like maybe 15 million sold, right? And their highest selling exclusive is Uncharted with like four or five million. So it's like, I, I, I kind of look at the argument when people are like, well, exclusives, exclusives. I was like, okay, but that's not the reason. It, that What it means is if you go to your homeboy's house or you go into your neighbor's house, right? That probably, they probably have a PlayStation or Xbox with not one exclusive. So... I mean, the I mean, answer to this is... So is this some damage control no, so you can feel not, better about not, Xbox but, not having no, one? Look, it's just an observation. It's not damage. No, but look, th- but look at it this way. Those games that you're naming that's, that sell a lot, they're multiplayer, but they have a wider appeal. That's why they sell so much. Yeah, they have a wider appeal yeah, on of one course. platform yeah. or on a particular platform. So at the end of the day, but uh, it, but it's, it's more than that. Like you, There's there's several more games that will it's, uh, multi-platform generally outdo exclusive 3 and one because it has a if you put 2K and Madden in front of somebody, they put like a, a horizon. Most people are gonna be like, I'd rather play, you know, the basketball game or the football game. It's just got a wider appeal. Right. That's and it, it it's, it's simple. This ain't even complicated at all. Like if you're casual, then you're gonna go with the more convenient and the cheaper console. Because you, you're gonna you want the, you know the casual game basically. If you're hardcore, as a hardcore gamer, you're gonna try to find what's exclusives, you know, appeal to you more. I feel like you should, you should probably get both anyway, but um, when you're looking really deep into it, then you're going to start looking at what's exclusive to here and what's exclusive to there. But the casual individual is not looking at that. They're looking at price and what their friends got. I think uh, in terms of like how much it would make a difference mm. in, in like how much a console sells, like the influence of, of exclusives, I would say it's maybe uh, like a, a 30% influence or something around that of how of like a determining factor of if the if the console or how much it helps the console sell more i think it's like around maybe a 30 percent factor um maybe maybe even less honestly because it depends you know, on what the game is it's the only appeal is. to hardcore gamers yeah. like you gotta yeah, think about true. it like that a regular person ain't gonna say oh this one get like they don't give a fuck about this shit man it might be one game they'd be like oh That's i want to play too. that joint but like they ain't really <laughs> not thinking about that bro yeah that's like if like GTA Five was exclusive. Like, come on, everybody's going to yeah, going to buy that on that console. It doesn't really. It it really does just come down to two K and Madden because like my supervisor, like she was just talking about. Oh, I got. I'm getting my son a PS Four. He just wanted the basketball game. I'm like, yeah, yeah. Exactly, oh, exactly. He just wanted the basketball game. That's all. <laughs> that was it. But it, it is what it is. Okay. You feel better now? <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, I got my point across. Exclusives don't matter. Yes. Just stop talking about them. You're just trying to take more bullets out the PlayStation gun play. That's all you're trying to do. It's all good. Hold Uh-oh. that hell for the whole generation. And maybe y'all can rebound next year. Oh, y'all man. never won. Y'all never going to win. Whoa. Wait a, Wait, Wait, a Wait, Wait a minute. Wait a minute. It's just Christmas tomorrow, bro. What you doing? <laughs> no, just be happy with your platform. You're never going to win. They don't have enough. They don't have enough worldwide appeal to win. 
What does that really have anything to do with that? That's what you want. You're a fan, <laughs> you want them to win. I, 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 what are you yeah. talking about? Like, winning <laughs> had like nothing to do with that. Yes, like, it does. Like, you it, want it, them to win. No, you try to take more bullets out that PlayStation gun. It's not going to work. Just be happy. I'm hearing that this man. On Christmas Eve, bro, of all days. Yeah, what I'm saying is be happy with your console. Xbox ain't never going to win. No, we don't love that, man. Ouch. We don't love. <laughs> hey, Jack Moose, stop biting my shit, dog. Hey, man. Hey, come on, man. All right, you just paying homage. All right, yeah, yeah, cool. that one. All right, it's cool. It's cool. Yeah, there, there you go. It's cool. They need more worldwide appeal to ever win or ever even have a chance to win. It's they never gonna have worldwide they appeal. Have to get your okay, so they never gonna win. Okay, move on. Yeah. Enjoy your Xbox for what it is, and stop worrying about anything else. Oh man, that's all. Mm. Merry Christmas, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> He gonna talk about some next some shit next week. Listen, now the PlayStation has twenty five watts and the Xbox <laughs> has fifteen. But does it really matter when it's all power? Like, come on, man, just fuck it. No, <laughs> just let it go, man. God damn. Uh, That's cool. Is everybody um? Damn. Has everybody decided on their game of the year? Oh, man, you know, I, I Uncharted, you know, man. Uncharted. I'm gonna go with Titanfall two. Okay. Really? Titanfall 2? As far as what? The story? Level design. I thought okay. the level design was great. Yeah, it was. Yeah. It was. Especially the part where you had to switch back between the past and the future. Yeah. Yeah, was, I was, thought that was the best oh, level by far. Yeah. On the walls? yeah, that was yeah. That was that yeah. was pretty dope. Yeah. That was pretty dope. I haven't even you know what? This is like the first time in a long time that there's not no clear standout winner for me. Last yeah. year, you no, know, two years ago you said there wasn't one either. Like you didn't choose one two years ago. I didn't. Probably didn't. That was when like Mordor, like there was Shadow of the Mordor, but like you said, you liked it, but it wasn't no game of the year. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 14 was terrible. Yeah. yeah there wasn't much that came out in 2014. Yeah, it was just yeah. like standout ish. Yeah. Um, Cycle, what game you said? Well, man, it's, it's a couple for me. I mean, Gears, Titanfall, Battlefield, and Inside for my top games. You gotta pick, you gotta yeah, pick, pick one. What you doing, pick, bro? Gotta, pick one. God pick damn, one, bro. Pick one, bro. Can't pick one, man. <laughs> Can't pick one. Shit. Um, smooth? Probably Gears, I would say. You know, smooth? No. Um, uh, smooth don't beat many games, so he probably couldn't pick <laughs> one. He couldn't record some shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, mine, uh, mine would have to be between uh, XCOM 2 and Uncharted 4. I'm not XCOM 2. Ain't nobody never seen this nigga play XCOM 2. Uh, I have. I saw him play it once, but he didn't know what he was doing. Yeah, was <laughs> He's like, why the Hold button on. ain't working? I'm like, what the? <laughs> <laughs> Bro. Hold on. What's your two pick? XCOM and, um, and Uncharted? Uncharted 4. I can't, really give it to, I can't really give it to Uncharted, man. I got way more time in XCOM than I do Uncharted 4. I'm so. still playing Uncharted, so I'm giving it to that. I don't know, man. I, I, for honestly, I think fucking Uncharted Three story was a little bit more better for me, but yeah, yeah. just uh, no, I, cause I just played Uncharted Three recently, and that joint is not bad, dog. I don't know. It's, it's not a bad game. I just don't like it compared to the other ones. That joint nice. Um, I'm gonna have to go with uh Uncharted Four and the Division. <clears throat> The division. the division. What the fuck? Oh shit! Well, you know what? That's yeah. your opinion, bro. I, I appreciate yeah. it. Yeah, exactly, man. There you go. Yeah, I got see, the see, I, so. When I look at game of the year, I try to look at everything together. So it's like story, gameplay, and all that shit. Mm. Yeah, the division. <laughs> How you supposed said, to do? All right, low key, want to pick Shantae. <laughs> <laughs> I want to smack the shit out of Jack. Move for even like. Hey man, you was liking that game, bro. Nah, I wasn't. He was, was like, oh, I'll just play one more area. Huh? What was it? <laughs> you was on a short yellow bus growing up, dog. For somebody hey. to like a game like that, but don't like some of these other amazing games. Uh huh. Uh huh. <laughs> you wore a helmet. Go on, go play Shantae after we get through streaming, bro. You know, man, what's you going had on. a helmet in school. You bro. know what's going on, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Heard hard eight pulled the jack move made a second account to play Shantae. You don't want nobody to know. <laughs> I got that on Steam, so. Oh, we're, we made another Steam. Yet. Well, somebody gifted it to me and shit. What you family sharing? So, but I'm glad the person it. that gifted it to me, he was he was happy. He said it's the best twenty dollars he ever spent because he enjoyed the live stream. So I don't feel bad that I deleted it and I'm never gonna play it. Ever. You gotta beat that. <laughs> Spend twenty dollars on that. You can add the no, time. He said, he said hey, it's the best twenty dollars he ever spent because he thoroughly enjoyed the live stream. So my hey, but the game ain't that long. You can add it to your list, bro. What's up? Nah, I'm cool. I got enough. All right, all right. I feel you. You need to be. I got a game. 
<laughs> Hold on, I wonder if Jack. I wonder if Kid Smooth beat more games than BG this year. He didn't. I, I, I doubt he it. Didn't. I doubt he it. Didn't. We already know. We already settled this. He didn't. Nowhere close. I don't even think Kid Smooth beat like ten beat? games this year. Like, damn. He uh, he said it like a few weeks ago. He he's like in the teens. He, he was like in the low. I'm teens. in the teens. I'm in the high twenties. So no. I'm at I'm at like twenty two. I think twenty two. I think I'm at seventeen. We I mean we could um I don't know if y'all have y'all list handy. Nah, we gotta wait till next week. I do. First, we'll do it next week then. Uh, um. Okay, yeah, we'll we'll do it next week. So have y'all list ready. Uh, I, I'm a like I already know I'm not. I have a life. So oh, here you go, here you go. <laughs> Put in the black bar. No, that damn I, I have a life. Ready. So hard it is like in 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 the you know early thirties. So he he, he got me beat right now, and I'm I'm not gonna surpass it obviously by next <laughs> year. <laughs> but that's because I got a life, and I, I've had things going on in the past month. <laughs> but I'm past Jack move. I think I'm past. You pay. You pass me. You pass me. I'm past everybody in this room except Hard Eight. So I, I, the reason why Jack Moo can't get further because he misses out on so many games. Hey man, I don't want to play bullshit, man. He misses out on so many games and shit. I listen. I'm a quality over quantity type person. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's why you bought that game uh, when you was at a party killing people. Right? That joint was troll. Oh my god. Right. Hey, listen, man. Everybody makes mistakes. You don't give a game like that a shot, but you won't give a game like The Witcher Three a shot. Facts. That's crazy. <laughs> That's crazy. Hey, man. Yeah. I think next month. You, you get a Final Fantasy 15 Jack move? Yeah. No. You should buy it. It's a good game. Yeah, it is a good game. Listen, mm-hmm. man. I don't know if I can condone that game. It looked cool. It may look cool, but oh, I, I thought you played good games, Jack. I play good games, but I don't know about that one, bro. Right. Niggas tap dancing in leather shirts with they is unbuttoning. Nah, I, I'm good. That's bro. true. That is true. It is a little over the top. You went around with a chick with purple hair that twerked when she wanted to uh, turn into a frog. Hey man, man. hey Shantae <laughs> is lit, bro. What the fuck is going on? They yeah, RPG boy band. Yeah, they definitely are. Mm, it's like. about the spectacle, though. I want to see you play oh, fucking. Uh, I want to see you play um, The Witcher Three. I'm sure The Witcher 3 is very easy. I could probably platinum it with ease, but you know, <laughs> <laughs> facts. <laughs> No, I got a lot of listen. I got a lot of games on my PlayStation, dog. You ain't see nothing else you wanted to play. I ain't even looking. I, I might download the Watch Dogs too. Oh, got GTA Five on there. Watch Dogs Two, Star Star Wars Battlefront. I might download the Watch Dogs. Yo, uh, hard at you want to make a bet for for next year that I beat more games than you next year? Uh, Yo, you probably will, dog. Because right now it's looking scarce for me. I ain't seeing a lot of games I care about. Yo, there's like at least seven games in the first. Three months that I, I know I'm gonna beat or get like two months really. So February's packed. Yeah. Yeah, it's packed for y'all, but it ain't packed for me. I see. Bro, like, when is South Park uh, coming out, bro? I see like one game in February. That's Horizon. Horizon. Yeah. Oh, man, you need to open. You need to open your eyes, man. Expand your experience. And I ain't even press the play. Two. I ain't even press to play that. Who that game will be? Ooh. Listen, that game is the truth, man. It's hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yes. Oh, well, this is Guerrilla Games. Like, knock it off. I mean, they've never made a good <laughs> story. Like they make amazing stories. But why, this is, they hired why, somebody why specifically to. They why act like they make uh, fucking like Resident Evil fucking spinoff games or something. Like, it ain't that bad. I'd be the first person to tell you, all Guerrilla Games have terrible stories, but they hire someone specifically that has expertise in this field to write this game. The gameplay was never bad. Like people make it seem like no, they got bad gameplay. No, the graphics is always good. We know that's a given. Gameplay, the was story was game. just ass. Like, but it was never. They never made like you know a bad. They made like one bad game. That was it. And they have Witcher three devs on working on Horizon, so I'm sure Blackbond would also want to play it. There you go. I need to believe in Gorilla Man. They I mean, got we're, gonna see, we're gonna see what they do. They got this, man. But I ain't pressed. I mean, I, the only games I know I'm probably going to beat so far is like Walking Dead Season 3 and Resident Evil 7. That's all I see. Tell you tell you right now, Game of the game of the Year nominees 2017, Horizon Zero Dawn, Red Dead Redemption. Um, yo, I'm, uh, continue. Yo, uh, I can, yo, yo, Horizon going to fail so hard. Watch, watch. That's no, I, th- I think that joint going to do nothing. Yeah, like, you mean critically or? No, I mean, not in sales wise because I know all y'all. Yeah, it's, it's going to sell. Y'all gonna run out and get it, but I'm saying the story and all that ain't gonna be. I think you know, you know what though. You know what though. 
I don't think a lot of people are gonna beat that game. I can see that. Nigga, this is gorilla game. Stop acting like y'all was loving that they, the, the, the games they make. Like, stop. It. I mean, but this is an RPG though. Like, okay, they made first person shooters that y'all ain't like, but this is an RPG. Like, it's completely different. Yeah, they only made kill zone. Like, if you don't like kill zone, you ain't gonna like, like no gorilla game. Well, you don't like kill zone. That's what I'm saying. I so agree. So why you hype for Horizon? Fraud. Because it's a because it's not a it's not the exclusive. No, because it's not kill zone. You just have to knock it off. If like, it, this might, they might be like, who knows? Like, even though they've been working on first person shooters for like a decade, it might happen. No. Like, Yo, they good at making RPGs. If this game was called Killzone uh, Zero Dawn, I wouldn't give a fuck about it. <laughs> Killzone Zero Dawn. Uh, maybe all they I'm saying is, if you never liked a gorilla game in the past, why all of a sudden you hype for one? Because they changing. They're they're <laughs> stepping out. They stepping out their box and they changing. If, if they was making another first person shooter, you would have a point. Exactly. Uh, exactly. If this nah. looked like Killzone, I'd be like, oh, this dope. Like, no, you wouldn't see that from me. Oh, but niggas ain't hyped to play Resident Evil 7, though, when they changing up. I mean, hey, but, I don't know. But Resident Evil 7 don't look that good. That's the difference. Horizon Zero look good. good. Hold on, Horizon. So you didn't enjoy the demo from Resident Evil 7? I, w I wasn't like, nah. I, I thought it was just like, okay. I didn't, I wasn't like, I'm not hyped for that game. I know. That job was, it was enjoyable. It was okay. I'm just not hyped for it. I mean. Yo, they saying this man's short, though. What, well, seven? Right. Yeah, they saying Resident Evil. If, 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 if Outlast wasn't clearly the better game for that type of genre, then maybe I'll be hyped for Resident Evil Seven. But that Outlast is gonna be better than that. I don't know. We gotta see, we gotta play it first. That Outlast Two demo was amazing. See the thing about the thing about Resident Evil is it looked better, so that's even more immersiveness. Mm. I guess. I only got two endings on the Resident Evil Seven. Uh, um, demo. I got the ending where the bad ending, and then I got the infected ending. Do you think it's not as good just because maybe you're getting biased by just the name, or is it just not as good because like the characters lose their own character when you go into first person? What game are you talking about? I think Resident the first Evil person. Seven. First oh, person. Okay. okay. I mean, I just think it's not. I just think they should have called it something else. But it could be a good game yeah. though. If you're a fan of the series, it's not the same, period. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I mean, but then again, you needed something to change after Resident Evil 6. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It was like, holy shit. I, I like Resident Evil 6, though. I thought it was yeah. Dude said yeah. BG and Jack shit on all the Crytex games and Mad One Heart 8 does it to Grill. But all the Crytex We not mad. No, no, no. Joker, like, like, Crisis 2 and 3. Wait, no. Wait a minute, first of all. Who said that? Because I agree. First with of all, that. like BG play Gorilla Games. This nigga is like the fraud. I tried to this play them. I did not like the them. Fraud. I, I don't like, I like, I like, I like the Killzone games though. I play. I play Killzone. What was that? I play Killzone three, and I play Killzone on the Vita. I thought they were trash. I played Killzone one demo. I thought it was trash. I'm so not. You thought, so you think they make bad games? Why are you hyped for Horizon? Because it's different. That's what no, I'm trying to tell it's you. Sony exclusive. <laughs> No, it's not like kills on the bitch ain't running around shooting hell no, gas. If a developer only made bad games in the past and now they got a new game coming out, I'm gonna but be on isn't a bad game. It, it listen, the it looks it story. looks different. Like first of all, Killzone Two story was actually really good. They nah, just that joint was boring. Bro, I can't fuck with no Killzone, bro. That story was boring as hell to me. I think people need to be more descriptive of what y'all mean by a bad game. Like it has poor writing and the story is okay, shit. The like, story is bad. Like. Uh, the game like, to make the whole game bad, like kill zones gameplay was like to, trash or something the way, the, I, no, the way i part. am bro in a story based game or a game with a story if the story bad i can't fuck with it i don't no, like, listen i like kill zone i like kill zone 2 multiplayer but i'm talking about the story it was boring i didn't want to yeah, agree with that like kill zone especially shadowfall was easily the worst kill zone story there was like no story there practically but the gameplay was pretty good this so, like, jack, and also also i would like to point out like I said, people make mistakes. If a company makes oh, straight, listen, so listen, listen. can't make a mistake. Yeah, they can. They've made numerous mistakes, though. I'm still waiting for them to not make a mistake. That's what I'm waiting <laughs> on. They well, don't even play their well, employees according you, like it. And according to you, Gorilla Games have made all mistakes. They have. But like I said, <laughs> what would make you want to play different. a game like Horizon, but then skip a highly praised game like The Witcher 3? I just want to understand this, uh, Jack. Hor first of all, first of all, I don't. Hold on, what did you see in The Witcher 3 and then all the praise that it got and you still don't want to play it? This is, you this is, rising, now this you is, jump out the window. this is what's different. This is what's different. What's you got to follow me. You got to follow me on this, right? 
I don't like high fantasy, like elves, uh, warlocks, all this shit. I don't like you shit like, like a bitch this. taking down robotic robots. Exactly, but listen, but listen. I don't like the, all that wharf high elf, mish, uh, whatever the fuck this shit is. I don't like all that high priestess fuckery, right? So I can't really... That don't really appear to me. And Witcher was a sequel. If this was called Kill Zone Horizon 2 Shadowfall or whatever the fuck it would have been, I wouldn't have played it. Simple as that. I didn't think Nier Automata was bad at the demo. I didn't play the first one, so I have no interest in that game. Facts. Any other questions, sir? Yo. <laughs> full of shit, niggas. I, 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 I'm you. definitely not, sir. To me, like any anything to do with like, I guess like like this reminds me of like you know the whole Power Rangers type thing and like it rem- it reminds me of um what's that fucking movie by uh, Pacific Rim like anything with like robots and fucking monsters that shit's cool to me like that's a good concept so I don't see like what people have a problem with the concept Listen, if you look at no, a- ain't nothing wrong with the concept but I'm just saying ain't nothing at all wrong with it well what's the problem like what? I mean the story looked dry the voice acting is terrible. I'm not hyped for that game. The voice acting ain't that good. I, I can agree with, with that. the voice acting. Uh, it, it's it's not that good. Yeah, that shit is low quality as fuck. I don't see what's wrong with it, and I don't voice see what's wrong. With it. I don't see what's wrong. Like y'all think the story's bad because they did they haven't told y'all anything about it because no, I just said the whole voice acting that shit could pull you out the game. But people like the story looks good. Like looks. Well, it's gorilla game. So they, have, they haven't I'm told not, us nothing about the story. I'm not <laughs> joking. <laughs> like those, we th- this is one of the most. Like protected games as far as the story look, book overcomes that we know literally all we know. Look, this is, is red flags. Horizon is gonna have a ton of fucking side quests. And it's gonna like it's just gonna be full of side quests, man. Like I don't I think it gives me Xenoblade vibes. That gives me uh yeah. Chronicles X vibes. Yeah. It's all <laughs> big, a bunch of dinosaurs and shit walking everywhere, and there's not gonna be anything to do. I just see it's gonna be a whole bunch of like side quests. And we yeah. and we gotta stop acting like bad like developers don't make bad games sometimes. You know, like Techland yeah. made that trash zombie game, then they made Dying Light, which is way better. You can always turn it around, man. Yeah, like yeah, and you, like they they're talented. You can tell that from Killzone. Whether or not you like the game, these motherfuckers is talented. For they're what talented they when it comes to graphic fidelity. The gameplay was good too, but that's like, why they went out and hired new writers and niggas from The Witcher and shit. They seen The Witcher was supposedly the best R- Western RPG in years. They say, okay, we finna go fuck with them. A game and, you still ain't trying to give a shot because I don't like the uh, the lore behind it. But listen, they 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 trying to improve, man. I'm, a, I'm gonna got, give them a shot. And I think they got some Fallout developers too, so it's like they know what they're getting. They at. got somebody that wrote fucking Fallout, another game that people claim is great. So I don't see the issue. Like, we'll see. We, we definitely will. Yeah, keep doubting greatness, man. And, and, and I will say, if I Horizon waste the roast y'all Sony dudes with that game trash. If on, if uh, if Horizon is trash, I'm gonna be like, bro, this joint trash. Like I can't fuck with it. I'm gonna have a blast with that game. But I'm I'm trying to like what like out of all the gameplay we've seen in the trailers, I I don't understand like what you're not impressed by, like the scale. I, of the I don't game. see shit. You don't, you don't see shit like what? Like, like it's okay. Shit. I mean, I'm not like really. It ain't got me hype. It just it ain't got no bullet hype. holes, BG. No bullet holes. It ain't got me hype. Right. I just see a chick taking down some fucking dinosaurs every time they show gameplay. I mean, that's the concept. Sound lit to me, shit. I don't know. I don't know Cause like I play like a lot of Monster Hunter, so like when I look at like the battle system, it just doesn't look as deep. Like I don't feel as if there's enough complexity, maybe to like what we've been shown for me to be like severe, like really interested in it. But like. Uh, I mean, it seems to be like mainly like uh, arrow crafting. Cause I played yeah, yeah. E3. that's essentially what I got. It. Yeah, it, it, it's I played at E3. It's all about the different types of arrows you use. Um, <laughs> it's gonna amazing. be different weapons too. Amazing. I mean, I don't see the problem with that. Like, it's the same. It's the same thing as like you have your your, your weapon wheel of like uh, of guns and and all. That these shit remind me of Far Cry Primal. Well, I mean, it reminds me more like. Tomb Raider, but it reminds me of Enslaved Odyssey to the West, a great game that a lot of people yeah, didn't play. Yeah, that's the vibe I got. But uh, we gonna see. Are they gonna hold this real quick? Ooh. What we gonna see? We gonna see. Yes, we will. Um, PC gaming generated thirty-five billion in revenue in two thousand sixteen, and console game console gaming generated six point six billion. Jesus. Nice. That gap is astronomical. <laughs> There's still going to be like. The, oh, I thought PC was dying though. Oh, yeah, of course. Just I, I mean, mean, you know them StarCraft nerds and League of Legends. You know, they got about a fucking DLC and shit. So, <laughs> them games is more complex than uh, Shantae. So, uh, yeah, I prefer Shantae, sir. I'm sorry, we know. 
Hey, why, why, don't you, why, don't you why don't you get on StarCraft? Why don't you get on StarCraft, nigga? I don't want to play StarCraft. Oh, why not? You ain't about that? I'm not into them type of games. Oh, so you can't. Okay. I, I feel it. You can't be into it, but I got Okay. <laughs> I mean, I'm just saying, you try to come at them sideways when you play bullshit. Hey, man. Most of the shit you play is bullshit. Hey, sir, I play a uh, great critically uh, acclaimed game, sir. That's why nobody don't watch you when you stream them. I mean, I did have like uh, 90 viewers playing Shantae, sir. <laughs> Today was the most viewers you ever had. Thanks to Hard Eight. Besides, besides when I streamed Merry Christmas. You know what I'm saying? I got you the biggest stream you ever had. <sighs> people actually see you playing a, a game Listen. people want to see. Listen, when I used to stream the last was remastered back in the day, I used to have over 100 viewers, sir. No, you didn't. But thank you. Yes, I did. Thank you. Was this the biggest stream you ever had today? Uh, Yeah. Okay. Case closed, nigga. <laughs> Santa Claus eight times. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome, nigga. Merry Christmas. <sighs> um... That just goes to show you people want to see you play actual games, not no bullshit ass hey, fucking man. uh you. <laughs> they gonna have to they gonna have to get what I give them, bro. <laughs> uh, yeah, make sure y'all go check out Jack Live Stream. It's up on his channel. He was playing Battlefield One. He did better than BG. Factual. Uh, <laughs> factual. <laughs> listen, listen. This uh, podcast has a reputation. You can't be lying to the people like that. Hey man. <laughs> You know that. Speaking the straight hey, that's, what the right whole, that's what the whole chat was saying. They was like, this is better than BG. They actually was BG. Like, that no, was no funny as hell. They, it was better than mine because they expect me to do good. They wasn't expecting that shit from you. Uh-huh. <laughs> oh, that's, oh, that's, a, that's the narrative you're trying to go with? Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. When I do good, it's normal. People, that's boring to people because mm-hmm. that's just normal. Okay. People get more excited if I have a bad game than if I have a good I mean, game because that shit don't really loving, happen. Loving Shantae. If I was loving Shantae, I would play it. I ain't got no problem with that. That's why that shit got deleted. Give it another deleted. shot, bro. Give it another shot. And I wanted to fucking come off the top ropes on Jack Move Heads. <laughs> even playing that oh, shit. Man. <laughs> <laughs> you trying to macho man elbow drop me, bro? Break the damn. fuck up. God damn. I was trying to leg drop this nigga from the top ropes. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> I'm ready for that um 1080 TI. Ready to get that and move on from this 980 TI. Well, uh, y'all still have them old 1080s. Y'all should have waited. Damn. Y'all should have waited. Yep. 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 shots. Okay. We're going to be throw shots when he ain't got shit yet. We did 1080. Ooh, that is true. Hey. Wow, fuck. So enjoy being inferior. That's all. Yeah, you got that old dusty ass 980 Ti. When that shit came out, like June of last year, nigga, stop it. This nigga made it seem like it was like a decade ago. Like <laughs> <laughs> shit, in technology years, years it was old ass 980 Ti. What you got? Fucking what you got? Well, it's two of them, so still broke down. Still can barely compete with my motherfucking 1080. Um, pretty sure it's better. No, two nine eighty TIs does not outperform a ten eighty. I'm gonna have and to if look. If it does, it's barely. I'm gonna have to look at the look. Yeah, look it up. Yeah, I was looking look that up. up. I don't think that's true, sir. Yeah, look it up. I, I will look it up because I'm pretty. Uh oh. No, you ain't talking to me because you already know what it is. Anyway, you must be talking to Vine. <laughs> ten eighty TI game, baby. <laughs> Uh, that thing gonna be like nine hundred, probably a thousand. That's what Nvidia. They, that's how they feeling themselves right now. Yeah, they all with AMD fucking up. They're yeah. supposed to have like what ten gigs of RAM, VRAM. That yeah, joke like gigs, nine. Man. That joke will be like nine to a thousand, eight to a thousand. Calling it right now. Yeah, I'm still getting it though. Unless fucking, what's the next uh, AMD Vega? Unless that can come out and and and, and put some pressure on Nvidia. Hmm. Okay. So, yeah, that's all I got. Uh, if the comment section wants to talk about anything else, if I got any more topics, you responded in them tweets you got, bro. What tweets? You always say tweet out topics you want to discuss. Oh yeah, like I looked at that list. So, oh okay, okay. You know, pretty much went over everything. We still got a half left, so yeah. If y'all want to bring up anything? And hey, we stopped doing one. Got to go too. What happened to that? I'm gonna I'm bring them back. Oh man. Oh yeah, ain't do one. Got to go in a minute. PSVR sales. I mean, what really? I mean, we talked about that kind of. Not really much. That's what somebody asked. They want to hear about PSVR sales. Yeah. I mean, it's yeah. selling good. Apparently, it sold out right yeah, now. It's so. Oculus and Vibe just because it's less expensive, really. 
more seems switch. to be doing well. More switch it's, topics. It's definitely uh, selling. I mean, it's not really in stores like that. It's more switch topics. Listen, there's only a, only a limited number more of ways switch to topics. say the what switch the is going to fail. Like, I don't know how many times to say it. Hey, not. man. <laughs> after the after the twelfth presentation, we'll have more to talk about, y'all. Like, yeah, there's not that many, you know, original ways to say Nintendo sucks and the switch is going to fail. There's only so many Dang. ways. So I don't know what else. Oh, with them weak ass specs, I don't even know what people are expecting, man. Yeah. Like okay, oh, we're gonna have third party support of, of of the inferior games. Like that still shouldn't be a main console. I just don't think specs mean too much for Nintendo. It depends. It depends. They really fucking low though. Like according to what people saying. So they definitely um they definitely mean a lot. I think that their problem like, is what is, that what is Nintendo going to do with with the specs of a. Xbox One or PlayStation it ain't about what Nintendo much. gonna do though. It's you know, about like, what third party, third party. Yeah, yeah exactly. But they're not gonna like third party. Like <laughs> the Nintendo games are gonna be there. That ain't what we talking about. Maybe. They gonna be there. Yeah, <laughs> like, these, yeah, devs, yeah. These, devs yeah. Not, these devs are not gonna develop for it for Nintendo. They're gonna they're not gonna do Xbox, PlayStation, along with their mid generation consoles and a Nintendo. They if if it do not numbers, gonna, I mean, yeah. But if they had the hallway, they would. That's the problem. If they had the hallway, they would do that. The problem is that it's got to do Nintendo numbers. is out of the they out of the the, the console loop, man. <laughs> and according to liars out there, they're very easy to develop for. Them, so there you go. Uh, yeah, the 1080 Ti has been confirmed, but so, nobody knows when it's coming though. There's people that are throwing out theories for The Last of Us Two. Some believe that um, Joel is actually dead in the trailer, and it's just a figment of Ellie's imagination because of her crazy. <laughs> Did we ever talk and, about that? And yeah. Not, yeah. not this rumor. Yeah. No, we ain't about that. I thought what we were talking. No, about. We, we talked about. We yeah, think. We, Joel, we, we said we, we think Joel is gonna die. People are saying he's already dead. Like, yeah, oh, yeah. Not, but yeah, yeah, people been saying that. Yeah. That theory been out there though. Yeah, we never talked about it though. Yeah, I, I don't think he did. I don't though. think he did. I think he did that last. It sounded I mean, like he might be the way they was talking about that though. It's because of the way the the, the trailer was uh framed and stuff. I mean, I could see it happening, but that was a teaser trailer, dog. That, that all that was to show is that it's coming. I think if, they're gonna show him actually dying in the game, though. If no, see what they if if he's dead, like at that point in the game, and she's and that and she's taking revenge on these people already. Then you're not gonna find out that he's dead until the end of the game. They're gonna make no, it seem like he's like, alive. Yeah, more than like yeah, yeah that's true. Like that's true. And oh, then it's gonna be like. Oh, it was all in Ellie's head that he was with. That's what I was just thinking. I was just oh, thinking that. Yeah. What if he's ooh. in her? What if he's in her head the whole time? Yeah. That oh, that'd be good right there. Yeah, I see. I see what you're saying. I see what you're having saying. like a psychotic break, and she man, thinks. You better not kill Joel. Fuck out of here. Nigga, push him like seven, Daddy. That's a, that's the way of keeping him alive. Wouldn't be dead anyway. Joel <laughs> uh, gonna be in the Last of Us three in the wheelchair. They gotta kill him. Oh, that hey, that might be lit though. <laughs> I think The Last of Us 3 would probably be a different character. They would have to move on to a different character, I think. Not necessarily. Not necessarily. They, gonna make well, that, well, they were saying that they can't see that game without the two of them, though. What if, what if Joel and Ellie have you know a baby? How many characters they use oh. for Trick been through the whole way. Yeah, Joel and Ellie have a baby, nigga. You, ne- you never know, nigga. Wow. She's like, 19 years old. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, she's 19 years old. <laughs> hey, that would be crazy, crazy dog. <laughs> she's 19 years old. What you, I mean? But, nigga, he, he, he saw her since she was a child. And he's like, I'm trying to preserve humanity. Catch this right quick. You never know. <laughs> you never know. Hey, listen. You never know. That's a little pedophilia, though. How is that pedophilia if she's 19? No, if you watch her from she, when she was a child and then all of a sudden you praying on her. No, he like, wasn't thinking the whole time, right. like, oh, I'm going to fuck that in five years. Like, he wasn't thinking like that. Uh, I don't know, man. That's weird. <laughs> That's weird. Hey, man, so he if, you knew, if you knew like a chick that was a child... When you was like, let's just say thirty, and she grown up now. You forty, she twenty one, and she got a donkey, and she throwing it at. You. <laughs> you just gonna be like, yeah, oh. you ain't gonna be like, oh, I used to be like, no, I don't, I don't think I'm gonna be thinking about that shit, I don't bro. Think I can look at that dog, yo, I I saw you when you was thirteen. Yeah, I nah, I, nah, that's a daughter, man. Even if she ain't blood, yo, your oh. daughter, what the. You raised her since she was a little kid, yeah. yeah that's like his. Oh, okay. Now, I see. Okay, so. I see. I see what y'all saying. Well, if you're saying right. it like that, if he treated it like that, then yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If he viewed her as like a daughter, that's the relationship, though. I mean, that'd be she, yeah, that'd be she crazy. She came into the game reminding him of his daughter. Oh no, she wanted to give him a uh, you know a sloppy toppy. Oh shit! <laughs> oh, no. Nah, man. <laughs> I mean, like Ellie, Ellie, no, <laughs> Ellie, Ellie, no. <laughs> I don't know, Joe. Going, you know, decline that. You know, it's just nah, it's man. Just a Ellie, what are you doing? A long time. Nah, man. Oh, you want to go a twirly early? I don't know. Get your lips <laughs> off of that, Ellie. Y'all crazy with that. Yeah, I don't know, man. 
<laughs> he said, I don't know. <laughs> They're throwing around theories. <laughs> I think people would be like, if that actually happened, like, people would be enraged by that. It's just like if somebody like 40 and they fucking like a 20 year old, like she was young at a point, and oh, she was shit. still grown. So it's like, yo, they passed the legal age. Yeah, I never seen no problem with that, bro. If, if, if an eighty year old nigga want to date somebody young, fuck no, it. No, if they want to date somebody young, I don't got a problem with that. You saying if, if they know him though? What, they well, my him. problem would be is if I seen you from a little girl. Okay, okay, I, would I have a problem that. with I that. I, like, I see that, yeah. Because it's weird because when I'm looking at you, I'm gonna see you as like that twelve year old. Like if I met you when you twelve, and I'm like four, like so that bitch now. got a donkey in your face. You ain't gonna be like, damn, uh, you don't got big. You all grown up, man. <laughs> so, as long as she passed the legal age, that's all that matters, man. Um, now I'm saying if it's like your daughter, you raising your daughter. Yeah, yeah, totally yeah. You do that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You know. That's all. Mm. Well, this podcast went left real quick. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, niggas be fronting though, knowing damn well, you know. <laughs> listen, listen. They definitely front, bro. Like, yeah. Niggas talk that shit now, but if she was right there, <laughs> it'd be a whole, whole different story. Mm. No what? Niggas be front like shit. Do y'all think uh Spider Man's coming out next year? No, no. no. <laughs> I forgot about the game, goddamn. It's definitely not. What about God of War? Uh, I think I still think God of War early 2018 game. You know what's crazy? Sony got a crazy lineup for 2017 and 18. That's sad. Xbox, what you doing? Uh-oh. What's coming out in 2017 again? Yeah, what, what is? Coming I mean, out? it's a possibility of a, a couple of games. Uh, I don't want to hear possibilities. I want to hear facts. Oh, they, got you... the, they got the list. You can look at the list. Wait a minute. When is Voodoo Vince yeah. Remaster coming? The out list. I did the same list. Talking about that damn 2014. Hey, let me get another one. It's- Gravity Rush, Neo, and Auto- and Nero Automata come out in the first three months. Yeah, I'll play that's well. Play more. Oh, but that's and Horizon. You're talking about like serious that's games. That's like an all star team. Like, wait, you mean, ser- what do you mean? Those are serious, serious I mean, games. Serious games. I mean, like, those Horizon. Are serious games. What I mean, so wait, 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 wait. games like Horizon. Those aren't, those aren't uh, serious. Wait, wait, wait. So, 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 Gravity oh Rush is not a serious Gravity game. Rush is Neo, serious. Neo is not a serious game. Okay, oh, wait a minute. I got a better question. What serious games do Xbox One get coming out next year? Yo, y'all niggas are scale scale on this. Y'all got to stop making up these games. Okay, I'll scale back serious, but Nero Automata ain't okay. Hey, you Xbox. Let's listen to this. How many Neo games have there been? One. This is the first one in the series. All right, so how you gonna fuck you gonna ask me is Neo a serious game or not? Like, this is the first one you asked as if y'all you- said scale bound a serious game. Ain't that the first one? <laughs> I didn't say that though. It's, it's, okay, it's scale bound a serious game. Bro, no, I, you I, Xbox dude, stay that. moving the goalposts. It's, it's, how is it, how's how it going? Move the goalposts. Yeah, that's not, that's, that's goal not a serious game. That's a, what are y'all talking about? But no, I'm just saying, you just said they got a kill <laughs> right up for 2018. Y'all making it like what? All right, so y'all making it seem like Gravity Rush, Neo, and like near out mod is like shovelware or something these are serious these are serious games that people are going to buy are they they it is yeah, that's not even bringing up jrpg i guarantee sure. you hey he's still salty ain't nobody buy gears of war 4 man uh, oh <laughs> more than nobody bought neo it. i mean not neo uh recore god damn it. i bought recore there you go uh, too. Uh, you, look, do you like recore uh, uh now it's we got decent. a new category for games though they serious, serious and and what else? This is what people games. do. Like, serious and play play. Like what? Serious. <laughs> <laughs> like, like this is what I mean. What was the dude we had on last week? Yeah. The dude we had last week. Uh, uh, because that's either, pretty much yeah. what what he did a little bit. Like there would be games that you like. What's coming out on PS4? Then you would name the games. So well, you name I, don't really, I don't really count those games. They don't consider <laughs> Japanese <laughs> developed <laughs> games uh serious. I guess. Like, oh, this I shit mean, is funny, dog. Count. This is too funny. That, that, I mean, just because the game don't appeal, you don't mean it's not that, serious. You got, you that, got that's my PlayStation has the audience for a game like Neo, Near Automata, and they do. Gravity Rush. They do. They do. <laughs> like if Gravity, if Gravity Rush on, was on Xbox, I don't know if it would sell, or or it even like wouldn't. it would probably wouldn't. Is Halo Wars still a serious game? But they will hype it up. But they will hype it up though, just like they did Recore. Ooh. And again, I think I think a lot of people need to stop like. Comparing or or saying that I mean just thinking of one 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 let's say a kids move or whatever 
stop taking what Kiss Move says and try to apply it to everybody, or trying to take what certain other people say and try to apply it to Kiss Move. It's it, not it just Kiss Move. It'd be a whole group of them. It'd be a lot of them. Hey, bro, I got, I got dip, bro. All right, Jack Move. Yeah. So that's the answer to your question. There's four PS4 exclusives coming out in the first three months. That's that's it. So yeah, as far as the rest of the year, we all know. It could, oh yeah, and MLB the show if you count that, and apparently Yakuza. In the first like four months, I'm just saying. Yeah. That's not a serious game. <laughs> it's, not, it's not serious at all. Oh, Jack Move had to bounce. Yeah. yeah. Must be time to eat. <laughs> 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 oh, yeah, now we being a, a pro Sony podcast because we telling the truth. My bad. We 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 pro That's Sony. The whole thing they crack me up with that shit. Like I don't give a fuck about PlayStation, man. I don't it's even just, own it. It's just it's just putting out there the facts, man. Oh, and Persona Five. Like I think Persona, yeah, Persona 5, Five is trash. I'm not hype about that, but it's a but I I can't like say it's gonna do you, consider, you, you consider Persona Five a serious like a heavy hit. Yeah, that's a heavy hit. Yo, yo, yeah, yeah, that's oh, a heavy yeah. Game. yeah. Yo, I've shitted on Persona okay. like. Hell ever yeah. since people have been talking to me about it, but I can't say Persona Five don't count. The game, the game probably gonna outsell everything I, I just every, named. Every game counts. Every game is is a game. Yo, Persona is a serious <laughs> game. Yo, Persona is gonna outsell all the three games I just named. So you tripping? He said it's not a serious game. Bro, Persona, <laughs> like I'm be tripping because I don't I don't get into that like crazy screaming and like girls and like I just don't get into all that. Yeah, I don't like it either, but like. That game is like damn near a system seller, like from the from the way people talk about it in the, in the yeah, sand. Yeah. Like, but what's the way they win? talk about it? With no persona either, but it's, <laughs> it's a good game. Like I, I've been trying to understand what the hell this the what the hell the point of the game is, or what's the draw factor. I'm just as c- confused as you, but it is what it is. You yeah. know, it's a weirdo game. Know. Saw just one big. But I guarantee you, some motherfuckers over there in Japan thinking the same thing about. Gears and fucking Uncharted and shit like that. So. Oh, we know they don't. Well, we already know they don't think the Xbox is a serious system. Mm-hmm. <laughs> we already know that. But hey, it is us. Maybe somebody buy me buy me Persona and I'll play it. Somebody said they was gonna buy me a Nintendo Switch. Oh shit! Yeah. Okay, that's the only way I would ever touch that shit. Mm, I said I might I might buy it if someone buy me the. Uh, uh, controller, you know the controller because I'm not. <laughs> Hold on, you ain't gonna be playing it on the go? Oh hell no! You ain't gonna be on a New York subway. Someone, somebody Zelda? asked me that question like, "What what's better, the the better looking um, version of a game or the or or the version of the game that's mobile?" I was like, "Are you serious?" <laughs> I was like, "What?" <laughs> somebody asked you that. Yes, yeah, someone asked me that, like, and I'm like, what "Wait, are you, are you serious right now?" <laughs> Nigga, I don't, I don't go nowhere playing games, so of course I'm gonna take the better looking version. I don't care about playing games on go. Like, no, I they make people. a real big deal out of being able to play it outside your house. That's a selling point. Like, are you serious? That's it's, the it's a selling, selling point, point for me. Uh, I appreciate that this me, shit. Yeah. Listen, I don't believe none of y'all niggas. When I'm out and about, I ain't playing no fucking video games or thinking about that shit. <laughs> I, I don't believe none of y'all that say I go out like that. I'm gonna be real. <laughs> you don't believe that we go what? Because y- y- listen, y- y'all be in this comment. I just don't get that vibe from like people who be. Oh yeah, I, I go to the airport and I go. No, sure you don't. Sure you don't. <laughs> I can guarantee you, I do. I'm one of them people. You travel? How often do you travel? I travel a hell of a lot. Okay, and how you like get that. there? By plane. How many? How, how many places you been in 2016? How many? How many flights you took? I've taken five or six flights. I can so tell you, you think five or six flights is worth a switch. It's, it's definitely worth it because I I'm not like I don't want to sound like I'm bragging them, but but I've been in different, several different countries where the flight takes a, a long time, and I can I'm like damn I wish I had my PSP or something I could play on the go like that. Like I, I'm wishing that I had something that I can play because after a while the movies get you get tired of watching fucking movies after you've seen everything. Mm-hmm. So while you're sitting I'd there, I'd rather right, watch a movie. Yeah, I'd rather. I watch. mean, after you, I, but listen to me. After you done seen, have you been on a certain amount of flights? After you done seen, so I'm not talking about going from fucking California to, to wherever to New York. I'm talking about going to Africa. Talking about going to Denmark. I'm talking about shit that's far away. After you done seen all them fucking movies, you get to a point to where it's like, okay, I want to do something else besides fucking sleep or watch a movie. 
Plus, I'm trying to be uh, alert I'm, anyway. I don't really like to do nothing when I'm on no plane. I like to make sure this bitch going to make it. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I had something. I almost bought a DS, and I'm not into that kind of shit. I almost, bought, I almost bought a DS this Listen, year. You better talk You better talk to that girl sitting next to you. That's what I'm I want to. I want to play Mario. Pick it to see you. You got a chick sitting next to you. I'm going to whip out this switch real quick. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, that be getting on sometime. <laughs> Can you give me a little bit more uh, elbow room, mother? Whip out my switch. Get a that's couple an- levels. That's in. another thing. Like, do you really have that much? You you might be fly- flying first class. I don't know how you got it. You know, maybe in first class Sometimes. or whatever, you got enough room, but you don't be getting that much elbow room. And no, it, and it's always some big dude that want to talk to you. <laughs> it's like trying to keep the conversation with you. Why are you trying to sleep or watch a movie? Like. I'd rather be playing the game. Or if you get the uh, the door, the door seat, um, the emergency door seat, like that has extra room. That's all. I, I would wish. That. I would wish. I mean, listen, if you on long flights and stuff, okay, cool. But other than that, most of these niggas that are at home, knock it off. Yeah, yeah, I'm going. Oh, yeah, I'm going to play the game while I'm in there. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I can't front. I'm all for having a portable, but they right. <laughs> no, I can see that being nice. Going to like, right. yeah, I can see like me going to like and track. Anytime I pull that shit out, I put it back after like five minutes. I'm like, uh-huh. mm-hmm. in your head, you're like, okay, I'm going here. I'm, I'm a. As soon as I get here, I'm a whip out the switch. Until you realize, like, oh, I got to do all this, all this yeah, other yeah. shit. Now, like, exactly. you know, now that I think about it, like, if I don't, if I'm not, if I'm not doing what I'm doing, like, I, I don't, I probably wouldn't be by. I probably wouldn't buy one. Um. Cause I don't see myself going to a friend's house and taking it out and start playing. It. You know what I'm saying? Like no. I just, I just won't. Cause I'm either, you know, what I'm saying, riding with some people or going out to go club or have a good time. But exactly. like I, for me point. personally, yeah, for me personally, it would fit my lifestyle. But I can't see it being a mass appeal type thing for everybody else because it's number one, it's big. It's not, it's not a small thing. Like most uh-huh. people, when they leave their house to go do something, there's already something in mind that's. You're going to. Nobody's gonna be like, "Oh, yo, come over and chill." Like, "Oh, bring over the switch." (laughs) (laughs) It's it's just not happening. Like, it's just not happening. Nobody does that, man. It's just that's a dead that's a dead practice. But it does work at home, though. You can dock the damn thing. I mean, it's so affordable this, that you can this, look this, up to your TV. That's the thing, though. This is what yeah. Nintendo is catering to. They're, they're catering to kids and families. So I can see some of my coworkers, whatever, who have kids, they have a system at home, and then when they go on a road, or they, when they leave or whatever, and they give the kid, toss them, toss them the switch, and let them play that in the back seat while they're driving to wherever they need to go. You sure exactly. That's-, that's what I said when they first announced it. That's what it's for. It's to give it to the kids so the kid can shut up and be quiet. And I'm okay. going to be real with you. I think I – think- them kids will be completely fine if you just yeah, hand them a tablet too. Yeah, yeah. My, my daughter took that damn controller like everywhere. Like or the phone, or the phone. Yeah, like, yeah. yeah, exactly. You give these kids because kids now are like used to t- everything touch screen anyway, so they're familiar with tablets. You give them a tablet with a game, they good. Like you don't need to go out and buy a propri- proprietary gaming device to entertain some kids. Get a tablet, put download some free games. Free ones. They don't need like Nintendo Premium games. Hand that to them. They'll they'll play them free downloadable games all day, and they good. I, I feel like Nintendo screwing themselves over too, because like they're going mobile with like phones and stuff too. So it's like they're kind of taking away their only market. Facts. I feel they're like, expanding their mar- their market though. I feel like it's having like a it's having the opposite effect. Like they're lowering the market or like the people they can advertise the Switch to because those people are just going to buy like. Smaller, more casual games on phones. Uh, it's it's about look. It's about getting this money, man. And so <laughs> they they gonna put the switch out, but they're also gonna get the the people for the people who don't want to buy a switch and they want to play Mario or whatever it is, Mario Run or whatever you fucking want to call it. They're gonna they're gonna spend that twenty dollars on their iPhone and, and pay for it there too. Like I, I don't. It's, it's it's about getting to the money. And that switch and the switch ain't even that mobile. Big ass shit. It, can't even fit in your damn pocket. So you gotta have a, a bag, you know, like you a bag or something. A backpack yeah. if you go on if you gonna bring it. You know. Um There's too many mind. kids on phones nowadays, man. It's just <laughs> give them the phone and they're good to go. Yeah. 
Only time will tell how they how they gonna do though. They might have some genius marketing strategy that uh that makes it sell. You never know. I don't think it's gonna work. I hope it does, but I don't think it's gonna work. Shit, anything can happen, man. The gimmick's not strong enough. <laughs> it's not enticing enough. Well, they are, they already caught lightning in the bottle with the Wii, so uh, doing that twice. Mm. Yeah. Smartphones is just too, you know, that's that's the that's the life device. You need that for everything. So, you know, you're convincing people to have a smartphone and take a switch with them, um, especially kids. Um, I cannibalize these, these kids are too bl- busy playing 16 squares or whatever the fuck that shit is called. <laughs> Words with friends. Yeah. Um, you yeah, we can wrap this up, get the hell out of here. It's about to be Christmas time. I can't wait to see what Bond do for Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait. Uh, he gonna put up a video eating eating a candy cane or some shit. <laughs> My life is better than yours. Outro on cycle. Oh, this is Cycle Gamer, and uh, yeah, I'm outro. Right, uh, smooth, you there? No, Jimmy. Hey, what's up, man? Merry Christmas to everybody out there. God bless everybody. Have a good time. Be safe out there. Peace. Um, Steven. Uh, this is Sudi. Uh, thanks for letting me on the podcast, and uh, I'm gonna get back on that Overwatch grind because I need that Winston skin. Ugh. All right, um, Jimmy. No, well, you said Jimmy already, oh, man. My bad. I'm not paying attention. <laughs> 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 I'm back. All right. Uh Spoo, go ahead. Uh, yeah, once again, it was it was episode 72. Yeah. yeah. Uh, okay. 72. Christmas Eve. Merry Christmas, everybody. Hope you guys get what you want. Hope all you guys wake up with <laughs> Xbox One's S's under that tree <laughs> and uh, a coupon to Project Scorpio <laughs> in your stocking cap. Um it's, it's kids smooth. Pleasure to be with you guys. You know what it is. Xbox is the best box, and I am the best bot. Um, you guys have a good night. Um, all right. Uh, honestly, uh, smooth. I think that Nintendo mini is a better stocking, stocking stuffer than, uh, Xbox, mm. but, um, the mm. Xbox. Mm. Uh, unfortunately they make enough of, uh, uh, make enough of them. So when they run out, you know, you got always got the Xbox one S there. So, Hey, yo, make sure y'all go check out the podcast on my channel, uh, after it goes up, <laughs> uh, you can watch for about 30 seconds. Then go worry about your business. <laughs> I mean, heartache gaming, happy holidays. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so next week uh, we're going to have the New Year's episode, and we're also going to talk about some uh, plans we, we got for next year. So in ways y'all can support Weapon Wheel, we're going to talk about that next week. So make sure y'all show up. All right, we're going right. to talk about the list of games everybody beat, and we're going to see who gets exposed and all that. But, Damn. yeah, we out of here, y'all. Peace. Exposed.